this is my fault guys we're late hi hello everyone yo 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 let's go um are we good yeah yeah i i, I think we're good and i, I should yeah. have everything that we want to talk about as well uh on screen and I've, I've also got a little secret little thing going on with the boys that are watching on kick which i mean will probably be fairly evident what's going on um at some point during the show <laughs> don't worry about that at the moment <laughs> how are you boys doing doing good terrific and fantastic as usual oh good good uh bob obviously it's always lovely to have you on we normally do the whole like keep the guest the secret but on the basis we're you know a little bit under the thumb on the amount of time we've got tonight it's like yeah you, know, you get to start here with me and go this must be lovely sweet i feel like a part of i feel like a real part of the podcast you are what, and what, i'll be honest what kind with you. of hat is that bob kind of hat yeah i haven't seen that hat before what is, what's that logo Ooh. It's local. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's from a local um. Do I say this? <laughs> um, it's from a local uh alchemy al store. Alchemy yeah. store, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. You can get, you know, your peace bloom. That's mm. the big one. But yeah, yep. Yeah. So it's a hat from there. <laughs> it looked like a compass to me because i uh, i have you kind of small on my screen so i was like is is he like a, a sh like a captain of a ship or something and he's trying to like point to true north or what's going on uh, hopefully well, not a ship not here, hopefully not a like ship in baltimore <laughs> <laughs> can you laugh about that but yet yeah, i don't know ahead. i mean it was like two days ago okay is that laughing territory yet for you guys i'm not sure always yeah do you mm. even know what i'm talking about no, nope. not at all. I totally missed. Oh. I totally missed the joke. Oh, okay. Uh, that's why I thought I'd ask because you both look really confused. Uh, th th <laughs> there was a. You didn't see the bridge collapse. It was Baltimore, wasn't it? Oh, oh I yeah, did yeah, yeah. see that. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Is is that funny yet? Like, can I can I actually joke about that oh. yet? Because I mean, they got all of the they got all of the um like like general public off the bridge. It was only the maintenance crew that went down with it, but it's still still pretty rough, you know. It's a like, couple of hours. Aren't there, a bunch of, me. aren't there a bunch of conspiracy theories that it was like on purpose or something? My, no, my uncle no. on Facebook was coming up with stuff. <laughs> for real. I saw people honestly. saying stuff. I, 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 know, I have no idea. But no, they, uh, they, they, so, so ships have got black boxes like planes have, and they heard all the black box before and they'd lost. Uh, 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 so when the, um, <clears throat> when the pool boat that takes them out, takes them out of the dock, takes them out, but it don't take them under the bridge. Um, as soon as they got out, they lost all power on the boat. That was that was literally what happened. There's nothing more scientific, nothing more supernatural, nothing like more interesting to it. But that, that's apparently what happened. And they even called in and said, like, fucking clear the bridge. We can't do jack shit. Like, it, we're about to hit it. And they got everyone Dude, the off. The mass that, that, that those boats have is just unreal. Like, it's on a... It's on a crazy level. It's a really weird way to start a podcast about World of Warcraft. So I, I apologize, <laughs> yeah. but it was just, I thought you would know about news in your own country. Like, you know, but apparently not. Yeah. It's, uh, it's my a bad. state away from me. Yeah. Yeah. My, my bad. I mean, Sorry. Ne ne next time I'll just keep it about well. Scotty, it's a big country. It's not like the UK. <laughs> yeah. 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 But if I know about it, like, I mean, it, it's still, like, fur it's still further away from me than as... it is from you. Is the UK even as big as Texas? I don't think it is. I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, you yeah, can, like, you, that's you can... how big our country is. Like, we have a big country, and yeah. we all don't like to talk to each other. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, no one wants to live there. So, <laughs> but anyway, like that, that's all good. Let's uh, let, let's look, we'll, we'll we'll leave that there, I reckon, and go on to the hi chat. <laughs> how you doing, guys? Welcome Hello. to a podcast that's going to be. Uh, we're not going to be talking shit. We're going to stay on topic, apparently. And we started off talking about a Baltimore bridge collapse um so yeah go what are we talking about tonight i'm gonna make a drink and i'm sweating same same go yeah go Take for it, it go for it we we have a big agenda and not a lot of time so it's already starting off kind of rough with these tangents i'm gonna try to reel <laughs> these two guys in as best as i can but i'm gonna i'm gonna need some help from uh anybody that wants to hop on the call get on me on discord i'm getting you in here and you can yell at them and be like guys 
stop it. We're not talking about news. We're talking about seasonal discovery. We're talking about data mining stuff. This is your warning spoilers ahead. We're talking about data mine stuff. It's speculation. Things could change. All those disclaimers as per usual when phases launch. But we're going to be diving into stuff that Blizzard announced as well. You know, they came out with their 20, 30 minute video of announcement stuff for what's what to expect in phase three. So we've got Sunken Temple. We got new runes. We got new PvP gear. We got a new PvE event. We got new profession stuff. We got dual spec. We got uh, repeatable quests for items aren't going to work and so much more. So that's just the tip of the iceberg there. And I shouldn't have made a ship reference. As soon as I started to, I'm like, I thought we just moved away from that. And I just brought it right back. <laughs> Uh, so, so oh, be, be, before we do crack on, uh, firstly, how good does it look with Bob sat behind that desk? If I could green screen his legs in, I mean, that would look perfect. He <laughs> almost looks like he's sat behind that desk. Uh, Just green screen like the uh, the Deadpool legs yeah, yeah, when he yeah. like regenerates his legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be perfect. That would be really good. Um, so, and, and just really quickly, uh, we'll do we'll do what Bob does on Warcraft Reloaded. You can find Warcraft Reloaded where Bob. Oh, um, warcraftreloaded.com or the new YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash at Warcraft Reloaded, but it's everywhere. Just any pod catcher. You could almost just, just search WoW Classic. We're going to be the one that, that's either number one or number two. Kind of depends on the day. Weird flex. So now let's do what they do. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and we'll talk about uh, just really briefly what we've been doing, what we've been playing uh are you excited for what you've seen so far of phase three uh and we'll start with a guest so bob um dude i've like i've wanted to play plunderstorm i've wanted to play final fantasy 7 i've wanted to play i wanted to jump back in and do a, a wrath raid i wanted to do some of that new wrath stuff but all i can freaking do is just play it sod like i'm dude i'm just like every Every free moment I have is sad, 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 sad. Good. That's that. That's good for this podcast. Uh, go. What about you? Uh, you brought me into the wrath raid again this week. So two weeks on the trot, as you would say, I've been doing ICC twenty five and Ruby Sanctum. Uh, Ruby Sanctum normal, Lich King normal, but it, eleven out of twelve heroic, and uh, it's been it's been okay getting back in there into wrath. But that's it. Like I've just logged in. And then literally raid logged. And uh, Cata Beta, I've been leveling up on there. I've got to slowly it up to 74. Yeah, 74. I've got six levels to go. There's some speculation that they think that uh, Cata's down right now. And people are like, oh, well, I might have came back up. No, well, it, I, it, I think it, it's back up. Well, it was, it was down for hours last week, and there was no 80 characters to copy and 80 to 85, yeah. so... I wouldn't imagine that's coming with this one. People are saying, oh, yeah, I think you're going to get to copy your 80s. But I feel like they're going to have to do another uh, wave of, uh, what is it called? When they allow more people to play. Hey, it. Invite, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I oh, think there there would have been an update, but it, there's first. been no update. If the servers are back up, it was just general mm -hmm. maintenance. It's, yeah. I mean, it's yeah, basically they've got an to alpha. all those quests that people reported their bugs for, I think. Yeah, it's basically an alpha, right? Like it's it, it is not even in beta form. Like if you don't have your pet bars and everything else, like <laughs> it's it's a straight up alpha. But I do have an update. I don't know if it's true, but Taco anyone messaged me and said that Texas is two point eight times bigger than the entirety of the UK. Oh, hang on. Uh, so Dane Lex is saying there's there's template characters now. Okay, yeah, I've got oh. an update. Yeah, I'm looking right now, and there oh. is an there is an update. Obviously, we've started the podcast, so this is the first time I'm checking. But yeah, he's absolutely right. There is a counter update. I don't know about the character templates, but I take his word for it. Um, I don't know whether that means uh, Daleks. Maybe you can enlighten us whether that means eighty to eighty five is available because that's going to change my plans massively tonight. If that is the <laughs> yeah. case, because I was going to sleep tonight, but apparently uh, uh, that might not be the case. But this is not a cat podcast, and we're staying on topic. <laughs> so go. Uh, I'm trying to think. Season of discovery wise, I, I it might have been this week. I got on with Bob for a little bit, and we did some battlegrounds. We did Arathi Basin, War Song, the STV event, and, I and had we a never lost. That. Yeah, like didn't lose uh, any of the games. Like got 800 plus coins in the STV event, which is huge for me because I'm usually doing it solo and 
being lucky to get a hundred. So it was your, like... yeah, it was your first time doing it with a group that all res together and everything. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we yeah. were a scuffed group, but I mean, you still, as long as you res together, right? Like mm-hmm. you, you get the best of it. Yeah. So I've, I've been playing a couple different versions of the game. I guess three different versions of classic right now. I, I haven't done any hardcore or classic era. So those two I haven't done, but I guess two out of five ain't bad or three out of five ain't bad. Yeah, I uh, uh, haven't haven't done any phase three prep, though. The only thing I can think of that I might be interested in doing is getting my uh, N.A. tune to rank five. I'm trying to just blast out as much honor as I can. I don't even know what rank it is right now, but I've got to get some honor in before uh, launch, which season of Discovery phase three launches in a week and a day on what is it? April 4th or something? April 4th, yeah, the, April 4th. Yeah, yeah, April 4th. So I, I'm kind of just looking at the beta, and I shouldn't. It's not It's not good. I shouldn't. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I, yeah, character copy is there, so I've just copied my mage over from Mancrick, and... Uh, I'm shocked they did that. R- RDF's still not working. There's no XP bar, so I'm assuming 80 to 85 is not working. Uh, but yeah, okay. there's, there's, okay. there's, yeah, yeah. But it looks like, yeah, it's starting. You know, like, they're, they've allowed character copy now, so... Yeah, that's not for tonight's episode, but uh, me, what have I been doing? Uh, I've been playing Wrath and Cutter. Uh, I mean, that, that, yeah, that, so that's all what, I've got. You did a full Wrath world like? tour for Raid? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah what's uh, it been like? I, 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 I've been loving it. Like, So th- this is a horrible way to start a sub podcast, and I apologize, but I don't like lying. So there's no point me sitting here like, oh my God, face free hype, let's go. I've been having so much fun on Wrath that that phase three, I, I think on the basis that it's just a leveling phase and with everything that I'm doing at the moment, um, I'm going to take phase three really steady. So I'm just going to put it out there now, you know, I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll be playing phase three, but I'm not going to like on the 4th of April, I'm not gonna doing like a 24 hour stream and rush into 50 to get in Sunken Temple. I'm really going to chill for phase three. I'll get to 50 if it takes me a couple of weeks, whatever. I'll just go on whenever I've got some time. Uh, but I've wow. been having, uh, I've been having Dude, so that much little hyped. Damn. Okay. I didn't, I didn't think it was that little of hyped. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I'm, I'm in no right. like, I'll rush to 50, do the raid once and then quit till phase four. Like that's what I was expecting, but you're not even like leveling for the first lockout. Now that is weird. No, no, not bothered about for the first you. lockout. Yeah, it is weird for me. Uh, but the thing is, like, yeah, so this reset, like you said about World Tour, so, like, we went and done we went and done Nax, we went and done a Nax 10 achievement run, then we went and done a 50-50 TOGC 10. Bearing in mind, a lot of the people in the group were freshly dinged. We're talking, like, 4K gear score. So, like, it was really fun going all in one night. This is all in one night. We went in Nax and we was like, all right, we smashed that out pretty comfortably. So then we went to Alduar and we got like four or five bosses in, all hard mode, obviously, in Alduar and was like, this is kind of a waste of time. Like, let's go and do TOGC at least, you know, like try and get some actual like decent gear. So then we done a 50-50 talk and was like, fuck it, let's go ICC. So like we'd literally done every raid back to back in one sitting, uh, getting people from 4K gear score to like some some of them now are like nearly 6K um you know and then we that's fun it was so much fun and then we went and done icc 10 heroic and done a full clear um like the when it reset uh so yeah it's just been because we've all been on raft together getting ready for kata it's been a lot of fun to the point where i'm like yeah i'm less hyped for sod but i still do like a lot of things that they've added you know, so, we're such the polar opposite. Like, I feel well, like, like I'm all right in the middle of you guys. Yeah, all three of us are here. Like, Go's been doing a little bit of everything. You've been doing nothing but like Wrath and Kata. And then I've literally done nothing but Sod. Like, I haven't even updated my add ons. I've got currently 36 add ons that need updated for Wrath of the Lich King. I haven't logged into Wrath of the Lich King since my guild stopped raiding, which was like a couple, like a few weeks into Sod. So, you know, Jay, obviously Jay's a guest of this podcast regularly and, you know, I duo stream with him and I sent him a message um, on Discord when 
the phase three uh, like preview video went out and i was like mate am i really weird like i feel like i should be more excited than i am you know like everyone's losing their shit over it and i was like what 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 happened yeah yeah and, and and i feel like i should be but like i am so in cat mode at the moment that it's really difficult for me and again like I'm not going to sit that's here okay, and pretend though. on a that's podcast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not going to sit yeah, here and just pretend okay. and be like, oh, I'm like mega you. hyped. Um, yeah, like, I mean, like, they, okay, like, there's no reason to hate on any of the other. Like, you know, be like, everybody should be excited about what they're excited about. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing wrong, wrong with that at all. I, I don't think. But, yeah, we don't all have to like the one version of classic and shit on the other four versions of no, classic. No, no, exactly. Yeah. Try and play it all. Enjoy. Yeah. 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 Enjoy and, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I, I'm going to be playing Sod, but like, you know, Sod is going to be very much my second game. Uh, but Where's there is. The... going to be mine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? So, so, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, 100%. But there is some things that they announced where I was like, fucking yes. Like, that, this is what they needed to do. So, you know, th there's 100% some so, of the things that I've not liked about Season of Discovery that they have addressed, and, like, it, it could be amazing. And, and uh, like, before we get into it too much, Incursions is going to be one of them. Repeatable PvE content is something I've complained about for, for months. Forever. Yeah, exactly. I've wanted repeatable PvE content forever. So, like, the fact that they, they are listening and they're doing those things is great, it's just for me, it's a weird time where obviously everyone knows I've been excited for Kata. It's not like, it's not a secret. <laughs> so having the Kata beta out at the same time as Sod Phase 3 is coming, I'm obviously going to be pretty torn. You've been talking about Kata since TBC. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's finally coming. It, it, exactly. Well, and you were talking about weird, weird flexes and I'm going to have a few of them here when we're talking about the different things that are changing, because not all of them were my ideas. A good, a good amount were though, like, and I said, I'm like a year, two years ago on, on my podcast, but also a lot of them were people that guessed it on the podcast's ideas and stuff and our ideas. We worked to together. So like they're definitely listed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And, and, there's a lot of things that came out in the phase three announcement trailer where we, we, me and go and guests, maybe yourself on here, Bob or a, a other guests have definitely spoke about like the fact mm -hmm. that there's no new PVP zone. We definitely spoke about the fact that there wouldn't be a new PVP zone. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about stuff. I'm talking about the other stuff though. Weapon skill. Oh like, yeah. But we knew about, that was coming uh, anyway. Fear yeah. ward. Like, like we've been saying that that's what they needed to do. Have quest lines for that for years now. Like, so it's pretty cool to see that type of thing coming in. Okay, well, let's so let's briefly go through like the big highlights, and I, I I'll start, and I don't normally start, but I'm just going to start ju ju purely because mine's probably a lot shorter because like the PvP sets, obviously, I, mean, I don't said. I don't really PvP. Yeah, no, she said it was small. You left, you it, open, shorter. You left it open, man. <laughs> uh, no, so... But it's thick. Thick. No, she didn't even say that. Um, it, it, the PvP sets don't really excite me. Sunken Temple, yes, I like Sunken Temple, so like, I'm looking forward to doing that. But again, not in a rush. You know, it's not like I'm going to be like, oh my god, I need to get the first reset in. I'm just I'm going to chill. I'll level, I'll get in Sunken Temple, I'll kill all the bosses, like, you know, it'll be fun. Um, it, I, I gotta be honest. Out of all of it, dual spec and incursions, they're the two things where I was like, dual spec had to come. I thought they would put it in at sixty, not fifty. So I thought it was cool that they put it in at fifty. Um, and the incursions, if it's done right, the only thing that worried me with incursions is they said it's from twenty-five to fifty. If, if, if they, it was level 50 said... repeatable content, then I'd have been like, this is going to be fucking epic. But the fact that it's for leveling as well, I'm a bit like, oh. There's level 20 items from it too. So it's like on one hand, in one sentence, they were like, yeah, it's 25 to 50. And then like the next sentence, they were like, oh yeah, uh, there's going to be level 20 stuff as well. It's like, well, then it's 20 to 50. And... Well, and that's my question. Like, it like it sounded like it was like an open world type of thing too. 
I think but it's instant. I don't think oh no, it's it definitely is. instant. It's got to be it's definitely instant. instant. You you yeah. go in and the dragon port. Can you? Uh, this is not my idea, but somebody in my chat last night was like, "Do you think you'll be able to trans transverse the world through the nightmare portals? Like, will all four portals oh, yeah. be in the nightmare, and you could like make your way over to another portal and come out somewhere else in Azeroth?" Yeah, like go I thought that was kind of a neat idea. Squid, yeah. Yeah, I I don't, but that definitely wasn't my idea. So uh, yeah, I, I, I obviously cool I, I don't think any of us have any idea at how it's actually going to work at the moment. But um, like, what, what would you like to see from it, Scotty? Because you're the one I think out of the three of us most excited for this event. So like, what PVE event would you like to see? Uh, I I'd like well I I, I I it's weird. Like the way they've announced it is weird. So. Where they've said, like, you can go in there on your own, but some things are going to be too difficult and you need a group. Um, I'd like it to be that you can go in there on your own um, up to level 49. You know, so you, you just go in there and you can, like, kill some shit. You get some rep. You, you know, it, it's almost like grinding. Maybe you get a small amount of extra XP because it might be the odd elite that, I don't know, maybe it's meant for two people, but if you're geared, you, you can do it on your own or whatever. But then at 50... I'd like to see it where it's actually serious, repeatable content. You know, so five of you go in and it's, yeah, timed with leaderboards or, like, do you know what I mean? It Like, actual sort of fairly competitive five-man repeatable content rather than just being you get five people and you go in and you're now just farming it for another rep that, on the most part, we're going to get to that, but on the most part might be pointless like another pointless rep because it's like it's got some pvp gear that you know is not as good as ranking gear so why would you do it um and i've got to be honest most of this data mine stuff we're going to look at is new to me so you guys might be sat there now going no no no, no, no. we've already seen like there's there's epic <laughs> weapons i want from there i don't know i i genuinely have not looked at it um i think there is an epic staff yeah uh, but it, and is it better than what you can get from sunken temple because ultimately it's going to need to be mm. better than what you can get from somewhere else, or you're not going to do it. Yeah, Maybe. I, I think, like, they had a pre-PVP set that you could get from there. So it's like, I, I guess it's kind of an in-between. I, I don't think it's supposed to be... Maybe there's the odd item that's better than the raid or the PVP gear, but I think it's kind of like the stepping stone to get, like, pre-raid stuff or pre-battleground stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah which is and, weird when, when it's actually the max-level PVE content that's lacking. Yeah, yeah. Are you were you trying to gaslight me by saying that you think the level fifty needs to be group for this PVE stuff? Because you know I like solo and stuff, so you don't think I should be able to go into this nightmare incursion solo at fifty and be able to grind out my gear? No, I, I don't, no, I don't think you should be able to. No, that's that's bullshit. Well, they said no. I want I want stuff. repeatable small group. Yeah, like five man. All I've been crying out for for all of season discovery is a reason to go and do five man content. You know, any well, reason. Didn't they, didn't they say that there'll be some things in there that you could solo and there'll be some things in there you need two people, there'll be some things in there you need five? Like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that? yeah, yeah, they said that, and that's what I mean. So I think, yeah, on, the okay. on the basis it goes from 20 or 25, yeah, fairly unclear, but let's say it was 25 to 50, and the way I would picture it, personally, it could be wrong, but the way I would picture it is you can go and solo it up until 49, but then at 50, it's actually got bosses and then you need other people, blah, 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 you know. But again, I've not looked at any of the data mine stuff that we're going to look at now. So, like, some of this might become quite clear. Either. I mean, I've looked at, uh, like, a little bit, but I haven't really looked over. Like, I like the, like, the stuff to be a little bit of a surprise. But uh, I've been looking through I don't as much care. as I can. Yeah, I don't care about spoilers. I just, like, don't go seeking them out. If... Scotty makes a video about him. I'll watch the ones he points out. I'm just lazy. Yeah, and I, I but, but I haven't because uh, again, you know, like nothing Catabrain. really stuck out. Yeah, a bit of cat brain and nothing stuck out. I was like, incursions sound good, but I just don't expect them to be good. <laughs> I, like, is my honest, like honest opinion. Like I'm, I'm hoping they're good, but I, I just, especially now, how goes said. Oh, it's like. You know, yeah, pre-PVE gear, pre-PVP gear. So it's like you go in there to get the gear before going and doing the real thing. 
on the basis of how easy the content's going to probably be, especially when it comes to, you know, like Sunken Temple, we can probably go in with Gnomeragon gear and won't even need to do incursions. Absolutely. That, so, that, yeah, it, yeah. so that's not what I've been asking for. I've been asking for a reason to log on and go, come on, boys, go. Bob, couple more people. Let, let's, go and, let's go and do some five-man content, you know. The stuff in there, at least the PvP stuff, does look better for PvP stamina wise than a lot of the gear in Nomer, though. And then you can get rank yeah, five, yeah. six, and seven gear that's going to be even better than that. So, it, it, so it's still not a hold, reason to do it. Dude, everybody is going to have. Everybody's going to have the like a ton of the honor coins. They're like letting them last for two weeks. Like, I mean ranking in this next phase is going to be a little bit of a joke because of that i don't think they should i mean i might be jumping ahead but i don't think they should have allowed them for two weeks i think they should just say use them now like because i mean you you'd have to have a bunch but i mean four so basically one silver is one thousand honor that's basically what you can get to so uh so if uh, if you bought ten, that's ten thousand honor. Now, say you instead of getting your mount, spent one hundred on them. That's like that's. I think that's up just a straight jump to rank seven. I, I I don't know the actual numbers exactly, but I mean that's nuts. Yeah, I, I think it caps at ninety nine coins, and then you can't get any more. Maybe yeah, well, but does it cap honor. when you buy the? So you still you don't buy, you don't buy the honor with the silver coins. It's actually twenty five copper coins, mm. but yeah. twenty five copper coins is two hundred fifty yeah, yeah. uh, honor. It just makes it easier to say once one silver is 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 one k. But I don't think there's a cap on the honor tokens. Actually, I could just mm. look. If if there is, could I, I would imagine people are just going to get to that cap, delete it, and then item restore the day of launch. <laughs> yeah, there's no you unique setting on them at okay. at all. Okay. So like they did say they would disappear after two weeks, but I mean, yeah. people are going to be able to just instantly be rank eight. I mean, I did that in phase two, but I actually did the PVE st or the PVP stuff. I did way too much Arathi Basin that first week that I got uh, level 40. So it's like, it, if you would pre stack it, I, I think I'm on the page with Bob where it's like, yeah, it kind of feels weird that they're going to allow the pre stacking of honor when they're like, no, you can't pre stack XP other than quest. Maybe that's actually, maybe that's their, um, Sorry, there's just a bunch of gifted subs that just went out. <laughs> oh, don't don't worry, um, don't worry. I, I know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I know what he's doing. It's fine. You just carry on. <laughs> All right, but maybe maybe that's Blizzard's way of saying, "Hey, PVPers, you know, PVE can pre-stack quests, so we're gonna allow you guys to pre-stack your honor, but we're not gonna allow you to pre-stack uh, the repeatable quest stuff. But if you want to do twenty quests, you can, and if you want to have some honor saved up, then you can for PVP." If you're doing both, then you're an absolute mad lad. <laughs> Pre-stacking quest and honor. I just hope, I don't know, they've done this kind of like cheeky thing in the past, and I wouldn't put it past a uh, grand to just be cool with just taking it, be like taking the hate for it, but just let everybody stack them up and then just be like, okay, now they're worth 10% of the honor they were worth before. So now they're worth 25 honor a coin instead of 250 honor a coin. I mean, it, it could bug like that because there's no PTR. So, like, what if it does go to launch and then all of a sudden it gives zero honor because I'd be down. the, the, the two-week thing screws up somehow and it's like, oh, yeah, psych, <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know why I enjoy the tears of people that prep too much, but I do. And I prep too, like you know what I mean. Like I had a whole, I had a, I had a whole bunch of uh, the uh, the uh, uh, Warsaw Gulch tokens yeah. and saved up and everything, and and then they changed it. I was like, ah, oh, you got us, all right, you know. But it didn't make <laughs> me mad, but it made a lot of people mad. I had my eighteen Warsong tokens, and then after the launch, I just deleted them. I was like, eh, there's no point to have them. <laughs> bye bye.
But I, I still think it's a, it, it, you know, like it, it's still weird how you you would just allow people to get ridiculous amounts of honor for two weeks. It's the two week thing that don't get me. Uh, I, I, I don't compute. Do you know what I mean? It's like, why would you put a two week cut off on it? Yeah, maybe somebody's on holiday and they're they're not going to be there for launch. So the, the, a week after launch, they get they get home, they boot their PC back up, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I've got all these silver coins. Let me turn them in for honor really quick." I just i i I would just make them null and just say that you can you can like trade them in for gold or something. I I don't know. I like I wouldn't want to completely screw people to where they're just a bricked item, but like I don't want like. I just don't want people rolling around in PvP right off the bat with, like, everything. Yeah, it, it don't make sense to me, but, you know, whatever. Just a just a weird a weird route to go. But that's not what we're talking about. Like, yeah, there's things that we're, we're going to like, we're not going to like. What were you both excited about? Go. What was you excited about? Phase three, because then we can move on to the actual data mine stuff. Uh, almost the opposite of you. I'm excited for PvP. I looked at all the PvE stuff, and uh, I I am interested in leveling up and getting like my first sunken temple. If it's not the first lockout, at least the second lockout. But then after I clear it once, I feel like it might be kind of like Nomer for me. I cleared Nomer once, and then I didn't really, I didn't really have like a draw to keep going back. And the longer the phase went, the less I went back and back to Nomer. I did like four lockouts in a row. I skipped a week, got like my fifth, skipped another week. And then I haven't done Nomer in like a month. But the PvP stuff with all this new PvP gear, especially as the Balanced Druid, we haven't really had leather spellcaster gear. And now we're getting a six set with a, a fuckload of stamina. Like I, I did a stamina comparison from PvE gear to PvP. And it's like 80 extra stamina and i lose like 30 spell power or something like that so like the pvp stamina is going like hard so i wonder if they're going to keep the 30 percent uh stamina bonus for being in battlegrounds and the stv event or if this is their way to try to get rid of that buff but pvp gear seems super strong and i i can see myself logging in a lot just doing pvp and kind of chilling on the nightmare incursion stuff unless it's a really good event if it's a sick pve event i can do it by myself i don't have to group up with anybody i can just log on at three in the morning if i wake up in the middle of the night and pump out some nightmare and feel lonely exactly but feel like i'm accomplishing something at the same time have you thought about so, playing yeah. a single player rpg i'm just wondering I, is there a there's some player... good ones there's some good ones mate like, I, I, can, wow. I could tell uh, you a few okay yeah 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 I got, is, I there the one, is there any that you have the fear of an actual player coming to kill you? Because I think that's what Go loves. He loves that. He uh, loves to <laughs> he loves to solo, but then have the fear of somebody being able to come around the corner and kill him. Whereas if it was an NPC, he'd know that they're not going to be able to kill him. I, could, I mean, that's I, why I, 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 I could, like I, the I, open I, world. I could stick him on a good yeah. single player RPG here at my PC, and then have the fear that someone's going to kill him constantly. <laughs> 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 oh man I, I i'm so coming. fucking disappointed uh, i'm sorry <laughs> i i just know i just I, I just got on the flight path to mount hydro and was like this is going to be insane and then got teleported out to winter spring but anyway so uh bob what are you excited about phase three what, what, what was the what was the one thing that got you mega excited all right so I'm super excited that we have the 50% buff because like, I really enjoy raiding with all the characters I have and I did not want the slog that 25 to 40 was. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited for that. I'm super excited for, gosh, um, 20-man raids. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like the 10-man raids have been, like 40-man is too much for me. 10 man is a little small for me. Like it feels, you know, it doesn't feel as like 20 man is like a perfect in the middle spot. Like, I don't know. And I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about the week long lockouts. So some people aren't uh, like, stop. but I freaking love it. Like, as from someone yeah. who like runs raid groups, like 
it was just horrible after the like we did it better this time around in phase two. We just did Wednesdays, Sundays, and then uh, and then scheduled like a weird time for the other two uh, raids. Like once a month, you'd have to like schedule a time that was off of those times, and so it's kind of a pain. But now, like twenty man, I could just run one raid, and then I could join with my other characters, other raids in my guild, and we could, like, quickly, you know, move strategies between groups and everything. So for Swamp in particular, it's going to be really good having all the different raid leaders having alts in all the different runs. So that's going to be something really cool. And, yeah, I'm just excited. Like, doing the three-day lockouts, like, gave me burnout pretty bad quickly. You know, like I really enjoyed doing other stuff in the game. I've had the most fun in season of discovery I've, I've had isn't even been raiding. It's been hanging out with like a group every night and us running around the world doing weird quests or pre quests or BGs or just like open world PVP. Like, that's been the that's been the fun for me, and I want more of those times. But you got to raid to have the gear to be able to do that type of shit. So that's where I'm at with that. But th I mean, there's so much more that I'm excited for. It's just like there's I mean, there's, there's just a lot. Uh, I was it your? I'm trying to give you another flex here bob was it your idea to have like the three and a half day lockout so you it would be a clean like it'd be at noon instead of midnight or something like that so you would know monday tuesday wednesday half yeah. thursday it resets and then friday yeah. Saturday, sunday I that was one of my ideas that. the other one was just it's a friday like one lockout is friday saturday sunday and one lockout is monday through thursday yeah like i had that idea day. too but like I've I've never enjoyed the way three day lockouts go. It always is a pain in the ass for me. Like it, it doesn't even matter when I'm running guilds. Like I hated it. I've hated it in every edition that they've ever had three day lockouts. So here's like a a tangent we don't really have to go down, but just a thought that I had of how are they able to do seven day lockouts for the twenty man raids at level sixty when it's the same client as Era. They're, they're, they continuously do things that I thought that they wouldn't be able to do because it's on the same client. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah. I think they're getting better at it. Yeah, yeah. Like I think they've learned a lot in the last, since November or whenever it launched that now they're like, oh yeah, we could do it this way if we do it like this. Maybe they're redoing. I know that they said they were going to redo like the gear and difficulty of ZG. So maybe it's just going to be its own sort of instance kind of like... um the dungeon instances are so it's going to be a total revamp for the 20 man. It's like even anixia like what are they going to well, do for anixia aq 20 yeah. and dude i mean scotty like yeah, scotty, when that. we were first talking when we were first talking about sod like when sod first came out you the first time you guessed it on we were talking about it and i said well what they should do with with mold core is just make it 20 man they don't need to nerf it just make it 20 man and you were like oh yeah that'd be great mm -hmm. and they did it like, i mean it's great yeah, yeah absolutely uh, and i kind of hope they go that way with all of it because i like i i would much prefer 20 man for, for yeah the the rest of the expansion or the rest of the the, same. the season same you know rather than 40 man but they were kind of digging their heels in in interviews digging their heels in uh when they announced it uh you know being like well, no, it will be forty man eventually because oh, you can you can there's, take people who are not quite as good, blah blah. But no, no one's going to take anyone who, who ain't quite that, as good. Like that's not going to happen anyway. There's you know a lot I mean? of people that like forty man. I yeah, mean, well, there they can, is they a can lot like forty man. That like it. I, I tell you where they can play forty man raids. They can play it on Classic Era. Classic the, Era. <laughs> there's there's already forty man raids there. Uh, but no, yeah. no, seriously, I mean, there, there with, is. I am with you for sure. I'm just saying a lot of people do really love it, and I don't want to take that away from them either. You know what I mean? Yeah, but if, if but those people, if they're really playing Season of Discovery, thinking, "Oh my God, this is classic," it's not anyway. <laughs> so 
Like, uh, it, it's not. You know, if you want, if you want the classic experience or the vanilla experience, you go and play classic era. It, like, it's as simple as that. It, it is very far from it. Um, but no, uh, but me personally, the, like, absolute forty man would be the the nail in the coffin for me. Like a hundred percent. Like that is when I would go. Well, I'm not playing it anymore. I'd be like a fucking kid throwing his toys out the pram and be like, "Fuck this shit! I'm not playing it anymore." All right, what are we what are we going next, Scotty? We got like an hour left here. We got to move it along and get these topics covered. Uh, should we should we should we talk about the catabator and what's actually changed? Uh, so oh my character... God. No, this is a season of discovery. Oh, sorry, man. I I forgot which what what podcast it was. Uh, let's go through let's go through all of the uh all all of the wowhead posts i mean they've put out six thousand in the last 24 hours so if, as long as we can cover like one every i don't know 0.6 seconds we'll probably be able to get through them all uh perfect i Some of them we can i really like this one mainly because i feel like bob saying fucking told you so <laughs> uh so the, the the latest one is the druid one where with the data mining showing the wolf's head trophy where it's basically a head enchant that permanently enchants a helm slot item causing you to gain 20 energy or 5 rage. It basically gives you the wolf's head helm effect, but you can put it on any head. Uh, it, I mean, it's item level 60, requires level 40, which a little bit weird. So where it's going to come from, I don't know. Or even if it's going to be in phase 3, might come in phase 4. Like, you know, who, who knows? It is data mine, so I'm not saying that this is... Uh, this is going to be in the next phase, but a lot of phase two or phase three stuff was also data mined when we got the phase two stuff. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, yeah. The majority of the runes. Yeah, like pretty much all the runes that they showed in the preview we already knew about, which was cool. But they, I mean, they, they, this was the only way they could do it. And I said this, like you would have to be able to attach the effect to a, to a normal head for for it to be, you know, worthwhile. But at the same time, that is a huge, like, that's a huge power spike to be able to just put on a head. Yeah, like, are they going to add those same type of power spikes to other classes? Exactly. Instead of having enchants, like, from ZG that was, like, eight spell power or something like that. I, I don't think you need to, like, just because... One kid gets a present. Doesn't mean the other kid needs a, a, a present. Like, have you not played World of Warcraft? Struggling. Well, that's how it works. <laughs> that's yeah. literally how it, like, works. it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to work like that. But like, it can just be the class. Yeah, we can just have a balanced druid helm similar to it. A resto <laughs> druid, a tank druid. Yeah, and no, not even just druid. Just, just, this. It, yeah, just no. Just let it be druid. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was a it's silly such a thing. huge power spike that. Like, if you can literally just more or less tra Like, the trade-off was you was losing stats, you was losing... Like, even in TBC, you know, you was losing your Set tier bonuses. 4 head. Yeah. yeah. You're losing that matter. to be able to use it. Well, yeah, I think it oh. does. I I'd say it matters. Well, so, well, no, I, no, it... Like, it. the whole point is it didn't matter what stats you put on the helm because, like, the wolf said helm was just too good like you saw we even went to tbc and it was still too good yeah like, so if it's too so good then you take the effect either, off and then you can put it on a head that's already so really they either, good they either delete that item or they do what they did here which i think is the smarter way because a lot of people enjoy that as that as that aspect of playing druid so they either get rid of it because, like, having one item you have to use for the rest of your life is boring. Yeah. It's that's, like having an arrow. I mean, that's my take. That just carries up to 80. I feel like my point was lost completely. Um, yeah, no, that, I, hear, I hear you, Scotty. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, saying, yeah. like, you can have 40 agility, uh, 80 attack power, and get this enchant, whereas... Well, and and get, an era, and, and get your meta socket. The wolf's head. Like, yeah. like, yeah, when, when well, it's that, when it's no that strong, in here. no, but that's what I'm saying. When it's that strong in TBC still, that yeah, you would yeah. literally not use your tier four helm, which you would get a meta socket, uh, you'd still use this. This is a fucking huge amount of power oh, yeah, to just be huge. able to put on any head. I'm not saying they shouldn't do it. I mean, it's fun. 
like it, it's fun. They sh they absolutely should do it because it's season of fun. Is that what it's called? Oh no, it's S O D. What's the D sound for? <laughs> no, it's, I can't remember. It's season of dads. It, season of data mining. Dads. Um. So when when, when like yeah, it, I, it's just. I feel like if you're going to put something this powerful on a on a feral's head, like you know, other classes should get something that's a little bit fun as well. You know, even if it's not yeah, like as rogue. powerful, like yeah, well, uh, yeah like mages, rogue. Got, mages have already gotten that. You had your little scrolls uh, this phase where you could have like plus hit, you could have plus like other stats. Nobody else got that. Mage got to warp to other people. Like yeah, yeah. But what do you mean this phase? Your little scroll I mean, bullshit. What that, was that, that phase one too. If it doesn't matter, it's going to last forever, isn't it? Because one percent hit, yeah. what one percent hit or one percent crit in, in at level sixty is the same yeah. as level twenty five. So I know. Yeah, so where's, I mean, where's my yeah. shit like that? I need hit. Give me a fucking know, mage scroll. You, you've got all kinds of buffs. You've got battle red. We've where's got so many my, nerfs. What? Where? Huh? Where is my rogue shit? Like rogue better get blessing of oh. might. Period. Rogue better get blessing of might. What? There's, <laughs> there, there's I'm, some. I'm begging rogue right stuff. now. <laughs> Which it, mean it, blessing of might? No, I just want the old retribution, bro. Anything. The, there's no, no say poisons. Horde Bob. doesn't have might, right? Yeah, but you're so, you're like... getting you're getting poisons. You're getting new poisons. How have cool is that? Do you want to know what the poison? I haven't seen. You're right. You're you're Ooh. actually going to be getting actual Ooh, brand new show poisons. Me. Oh yeah, we'll get me, we'll me, we'll, me, we'll, we'll get there. Can we cover <sighs> one thing at a time? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So Fine. and there was catnip as well. So requires level twenty. Emerald Warden's honored use increases your attack speed by fifty percent for thirty seconds. Three minute cooldown. A little bit, little bit strange. Obviously, we don't know what else there's going to be. Yeah. That is basically. Uh, it, I, I, I fucking highly doubt either of these are going to be in in the game. But you know, we'll see. Yeah, they could have been just testing it and seeing like, what it would do to their damage and stuff if they had an item like this. Yeah, because yeah, catnip that is basically manual crowd pummeler. It's like, oh uh, yeah, we'll give yeah. you, we'll give you the manual crowd pummeler, or and if they need to do that, it's like, well, why not just balance the class and stop fucking about adding all this shit? Do you know what I mean? If well, I just so make the class the do more damage, style. yeah, but you can do it. You can keep the same play style. Uh, but but not have to add items gated behind Emerald Wardens and uh, that, uh, that one's weird. The, the, I, I totally understand the um, Wolf's Head trophy, even though I don't a hundred percent agree that it, uh, it, the, it should be there. Yeah. But like the catnip one's fucking ridiculous. It's the same concept you were talking about with the Wolf's Head trophy enchant. Because you used to have to make that sacrifice to have the item equipped, right? Like during exactly. the or could you? Or no, could you, you had to have it, it equipped. Weapon swap. No, no, you couldn't weapon swap. You had to have it equipped. You had, yeah, you had to have it equipped. Yeah. So now you're having the first thirty seconds of the fight where you have all these additional stats where you didn't have in classic era. Yeah, it's like well, just and the same effect. Tune the class to do more damage. Yeah, to make up for not needing those energy regen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that 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 was today's. That was today's. Let's uh, let's smash for them. Uh, we won't worry too much about this. This was just some announcement communications about different things on Twitter. Like let, let let's stick to the oh, data yeah, mining. Yeah. Uh, Core Hound uh, data mining for Phase Three season discovery has unearthed the Infernal Lasso, allowing hunters to lasso a demon or beast for twenty four seconds. Which also mentioned the lasso core hounds may be tamed. Not really got any big hunter players here, but yeah, and unless the I heads mean, give a my... certain buff, then eh. Hunter's my second mate now. Oh, is it? Okay. So what do you think about this then? Oh, yeah. I've been just I've been destroyed at dude. I'm a bad hunter, but I'm awesome at PvP right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Um yeah, dude, I don't know. Like there's like like i saw it what's the what's the move that the core hound has Lava like it breath. looks like it might be really good for pvp it uh reduces the target's casting speed by 25 percent for 10 seconds yeah Lava really breath. good for pvp yeah right? hun hunters need a better advantage against casters than they already have with their silencing shot their scatter <laughs> 
They're trash. Oh, dude, I, They're oh, you got, and burn. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not arguing screen. with you, dude. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, stunned. I'm like literally rocking the, uh, the epic gun, the epic two handed axe. I'm like specced to where like I do okay damage, like range, and then they come in, and it's like that that meme where it's like this is where he realized he fucked up. Like mm-hmm. I just destroy, and I'm dropping traps everywhere. So uh, yeah, I definitely get it. Like I'm, they're definitely, whew, you know, could use a look probably, but either like either way, like um. Oh damn it! I lost my train of thought there. The okay. The what I want to know is so every pet can learn different skills. I want to know what besides this one attack the core hound can use. Can the can the core hound hound uh can he do the ape uh uh thunderclap or not uh the one that Torrin has war stop? No. Oh, can yeah, he do? Uh, charge can he do sprint it better be like this what are like can he do bite can he do claw can he do like i'm that's what i'm curious of is the different moves that you could put on him because like for instance cats you have like six to choose from and you can choose four right so i'm curious to see like that part of it because that'll that'll be huge It, it might just turn out to be the best pet across the board depending on how they set it up so interested okay all right, right. sorry we did you have anything go? next uh no, yeah well well, next well, well buff? buff next yeah i mean go on go talk us for it uh fervor of the temple explorer increases your chance to strike a critical hit by five percent increases spell damage by 65 and increases all stats by eight percent and it's a two hour cooldown or duration just like the uh, the previous two world buffs, and a lot of people were pointing out that there's not like any melee like bonus. There's no attack power or anything like that. But you're going to get a little bit of attack power from that eight uh, percent stat increase. So it's going to increase your agility and stuff. But five uh, well, percent crit, sixty five spell power. That's pretty fucking huge for casters. Well, you also have to think about how this changes the way you're going to want to look at gear in. Um in the next phase like for instance when zol uh zol grub comes out in normal classic setting right that's when you get the zanza that increases stats uh by a percentage right so at that point of the game attack power gear for melee takes like kind of a big hit because you don't get that 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 bonus on attack power gear like you get it on stat gear so you really want to pay attention with that buff with stats now because you're going to be you have to think about kings and that so yeah or heart of the lion or whatever like yeah. so you That's really have point. to look at the gear and attack power gear you're really going to have to think about in phase two, it was data mined the Nomer buff, and that buff completely changed from what it was first data mined to what actually it was. When that's it why. Went live. That, that's so, why. Yeah, it's data mined, and Agrand yeah. even said himself on Twitter, he was like, "Some of it, the stats will change. Some of it, it won't even make it into the game. Some of it, blah blah." blah. I do think some of it they'll almost be playing with us. You know, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. They're, like, like it, it, in a fun way. I like it when Agron plays with me. Um, but it'll be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some of it will be absolute bollocks. And that's why, honestly, the, the video I put out about Phase 3 and people was like, oh, my God, can't you read? It, it says dual specs 50 gold. It's like, do you really think I'm going to look at a screenshot of a preview and see 50 gold for dual spec and take that face value? Like, are you yeah. fucking mental? Like, absolutely no way. That's why it's like, I still think... I, I I would... I could put money on it now and it won't be 50 gold. It'll be a far bigger gold sink than 50 gold. Bigger? I would say shorter, because people are bitching left and right about shorter. Do you the mean cost smaller? of gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's going to be Gold's smaller. so it's cheap. Just... I bought loads of it earlier. But, uh, mate, gold is so cheap at the moment. People are still bitching about the price of the trinket from Black Fathom Deeps being 75 gold. 
Because it's like, absurd. Oh. They're like, I don't have. Yeah, but, that, but that's absurd. If you get an extra one, it respect. would make sense. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's absurd it, that it, you're it, paying it, to swap them. Uh, it's absurd. It is, if you it, buy it an is extra absurd. One, I get that. It's absurd. I completely agree. But then, do you think they're gonna like try and justify a trinket swap being seventy-five gold? Try and justify profession. Um, crafting uh, recipes the being like fifty odd gold. Oh yeah, that too. A, a, and then yeah. a, and then put a uh, dual specking at fifty gold. No fucking chance. I think they're no I think chance. They're gonna drop the price of the trinket. And I actually think if it does come out at, at fifty gold, well done, boys. I think that's perfect. Um, I think any more than that, like, just really kind of sucks for something that should just be in the game free in my opinion, from the very beginning of anything that ever started back in 2004. But, uh, like, I think 50 gold is good. Like, and you're going to have it on multiple characters. And, yeah, like, um, yeah, I, I, like, I, I think the the epic mount should be dropped to, like, 300 gold or 200 gold cost, like, two. Like, I think just make gold worth less. Yeah, but but that's uh, so so that's what I mean. So look at the the cost of the epic mount, like that that just makes you move around the world faster. Like that that's arguably not as valuable as dual spec, and dual spec's going to be fifty gold. Are you fucking joking? Like come off it. I, I I'm don't trying see to it. think of them. They they. they I'm going to speak for the devs. I'm putting words in their mouth right now. Uh they might be thinking of the player that is just joining sod for phase three people are like oh man i've been sleeping on sod i'm gonna pick it up i'm gonna try it and maybe they were thinking like hey how's it gonna feel if somebody levels up from level one starting fresh in phase three and then they get to level 40 and they have no gold for their dual spec and everybody else is running around with their dual spec and they're having to go retrain at a major city because they couldn't find a healer for their group while they're leveling. And well, now it doesn't matter. How many they're times not have get you to suck a temple because they're not eight of eight or whatever? Uh, so... uh, how many times? <laughs> how many times have you leveled a character and changed specs? A lot. That's especially if you're no. If, you if you're to, new, like, if you're if new been... to the game, no, no, no. no oh, I, 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 call, I, like, I call bullshit different... on that. If you're a WoW player for coming from like retail, or you're coming from Wrath of the Lich King, you haven't played Sod yet, and you're coming from Wrath into Sod, then you're already used to your dual spec, and then you get to forty, and you're like, "Yo, everybody else has it, but I don't have the gold to do it." I, I so I, I went on enough a, gold to okay. spend fifty gold. So let's let's use someone who's played WoW for a long time. We'll use me. I went on the Catabater, and I, I the only time I respect was when my spells bugged. It's like, well, no, I know what spec I'm going to go. I'm going to level as that, and I'm going to get to max level. Like, I, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to make it sound like dual spec shouldn't be there. It absolutely should be there. But like at fifty gold, I just really, really doubt that that's going to be the final value. And I, I hope it is for everyone that's got no gold. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, mean, I just I'm think that you. that I sounds think so not. low. It's, I think it's probably not, but I think it sounds correct, and I it'd be it'd be cool if they did do it. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you where I think they're probably not going to. But so they didn't announce anything about the quest giving extra gold from forty to fifty, but they did add that in phase two. So I wonder if that's going to be in there as well, where you're making extra gold while you're leveling to fifty. Because if that's in there, fifty gold's totally fine. But if it's the normal gold rate from classic era. I don't know. I, I, I'd have to level a fresh tune and see how that feels going the whole way through. I'm just trying to put myself in somebody's shoes that might go through that experience. That's all. That's all. I'm not saying 50 gold. I could burn 50 gold right now. I could log into the game and just delete 50 gold. No problem. On sod. No, no, my, I could yeah. still buy a dual spec. Uh, and I know what you're saying, Go. And like, like you, you know, you do strangely speak to a a, a, a a larger player base than i do normally you know when we're talking because you, know, you do you like you think about the you know the, the the people that haven't got a lot of time to play blah 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 uh, and obviously i know that from watching you level on on the catabator like you clearly <laughs> i've got a you, 40 hour a week you, job yeah, you, I mean. you clearly only have 20 minutes to play a day 
Um, and for some reason, every time you ding, you go back a level, which I always find strange as well. Uh, but there, there, there's got to be some consistency. You can't be like, in phase two, you can dump fucking 75 gold on professions. But in phase three, dual specs less gold than what your professions were in phase two. You know, it, it, like they, they can yeah. learn from their mistakes, like absolutely, yeah, which they, they have. Well, they, they did and they have because they said, you know, they're not going to have that gold sink on professions in phase three because they don't want um like a, a part of your gearing progression to feel like it's gated behind gold like it was in phase two. You know, so like on oh, your God. ults, you can go and get your profession recipes and blah, 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 blah. So what they've done is absolutely right. But dual spec, that's not actually affecting your PvE progression or PvP progression. You know, that's a nice to have. This is so weird, man. I feel like such a fucking hypocrite because, like, I want dual spec and I think dual spec should be there. But even for me, I think 50 gold is just fucking ludicrous if that is what it goes out as. Like, you should want to, like, earn your dual spec, not be like 50 so, gold. I can, I can literally, okay. I, could, I can create a character and do some questing and have that by the time I'm about level fucking 20. So, Did you also okay. buy all of your spells while you leveled to 20? Because I yeah, don't know if you've got that like much gold. No, I, I, I bought all my gold while I leveled to 20, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I you feel like the somebody. spells... I, I, I'm probably totally wrong, but I, I feel like it's sad the spells were more expensive. Like, I remember doing hardcore, and I was like, I don't remember having to spend the, like, freaking 25 gold when I hit level 40 on all my spells. Like, I don't remember, it's not 25, but it was like, it was like two gold a spell or something like that. I was like, I don't remember that, but I'm probably just wrong and just forgetting. But to put it in perspective, um, last, uh, yesterday, uh, like I woke up in the, the morning, my, my, my buddy Buck was off. Um, we just did the Northern Stranglethorn Veil quests. And we were already halfway through the like rested X XP guide code reloaded to check out. No, I'm kidding. Um, we were like already halfway through. So we did the last half of the quests. We made 33 gold in quest rewards, as well as I made another 35 selling the stuff that dropped. And so like you, you can make gold if you just play the game. So a lot of people bitch about not having gold, but they're not playing the game. You know, like they're just standing in town, maybe going to do a dungeon. It's like, it, I mean, if you go and you farm or you go and do quests, you're going to make gold. Yeah, but, but, this, but this is I why I said... Think 50 is good. This I still is think why 50 I th is good. Yeah, but this is why I, I said I sound like thing. a hypocrite. Because I, I, I don't believe in in gold sinks in a seasonal server. You know, I've said that were, so many times. You, you know. You. It's seasonal, yeah. It shouldn't cost you uh, yeah, all yeah. your gold uh, or a, half your gold. I'm a hundred percent on board. That in three hours. I did that in three hours, and that gets me dual spec, and I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, I uh, again, this is why I feel like a hypocrite because for the last, I don't know, five or six sod related podcasts we've done, I'm like, I hate the fact that there's gold sinks. I don't like that it's expensive to like have to get consumables to go and raid. Blah blah blah. But I am a sucker for consistency. So you can't have like profession recipes costing more in phase two than dual spec does in phase three. You can. Well, they, they, they admitted they, that was a yeah, mistake. Yeah, they should have admitted. They're, yeah. they're course correcting that yes, in but, phase yes, but, three. Okay, so, they know so why? It was wrong yeah, but to why? Cost that much. Why? No, no, no. So, okay, why? So I, I, I watched that, that, that um, preview video the whole 25 minutes, probably so five or six since... times. So I know exactly how they worded it and exactly what they said. So now you tell me what they meant. Okay, so let me just like clarify real quick just to make sure I'm hearing you right. You're saying because they fucked up in phase two and priced the uh, profession stuff wrong, they should continue and make sure they still price higher even though they know they fucked up? No, because that's or not what they said. Different? I'm saying something different because okay, that's well, not what I said. They said uh, well, yeah, well, I'm it confused. shouldn't. They yeah, I'm said confused too. Uh, uh, they said it shouldn't be like for a critical gear pathing. 
So like oh, getting your pathing. getting yeah, yeah, your, getting your phase two profession crafted gear was a critical gear path. Was like like it that was bits for everyone. So no, that shouldn't be a gold sink. So in phase three, they're correcting that by the profession gear is almost free, is what they said. Like everyone can can get access to it for almost no gold. But dual spec is not a critical gear path. You don't need dual spec to be able to perform in a raid. You don't need dual spec to perform in PvP. So is that not the place for a gold sink? I mean, I need dual spec to perform in PvP when I'm on my way to the the raid because, like, I'm not going to be in PvP spec. So without dual spec, I'm not going to I'm not going to perform. That's un that, that, that's unfortunate, but you're you're not like you're not going to PvP on the way to the raid. Hopefully, you don't see anyone on the way to the raid because you want to get in there and you want to. Like, this, again, this is I don't give a shit. I want to put it out there. I don't see, care. Yeah, you I'm don't just, care about uh, PvP, so it's no, weird. no. I don't care about PvP or PVE in this. I care about the semantics. I care about the fact that it was like they like gold sinks. They said that. They said that in that 25 minute video. Oh. They like gold sinks and they know they're good for the game, but they know so they then, shouldn't be in a critical gear path. But then they put dual spec for like cheaper amounts of gold, apparently. It won't here, be. Scotty, 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 if they like gold, uh, gold sinks, I'll give them an, I, an idea. Let's do a monthly subscription service for gold. Um, and what this does is it gives you instant mail. It gives you slightly faster flight uh, uh, flight paths, and it gives you, you know, it gives you some perks like that, right? And it's in-game gold, not real money. And, like, if you get a six-month subscription, it's a little bit cheaper. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I didn't oh. make that shit up. I'm kind of joking. But, like, I mean, I would pay, like, I would pay a gold sink to have, like, a week free of, like, instant mail, you know, to my alts and stuff. Aren't gold sinks just going to encourage from. RMT? Yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> going down that route. No, mine is. Oh, I'm just I talking about consistency. Either way, I don't <laughs> care. If dual specs fifty gold, this is not me saying, "Oh God, it should be more expensive because I've got more than fifty gold." I'm just saying it. it I find it strange. Uh, you, you know, and I, I, I look at it and I'm like, it's the per like dual spec is the perfect place for a gold sink. They openly said we like gold sinks; they're good for the game, but then they put them in the wrong place. You know, they put them where they're imperative. They put them where if you want to raid, if you want to pass, you have to buy gold. You know, if you're not going to farm gold, you have to buy gold to be able to get your crafted professions. You, you, or you, you have to pay, or you have to play a lot. Oh, you have to play a lot. Yeah, well, whichever. But like, let's say me. I could I could pass straight ninety nine slash one hundreds without dual spec. I don't I don't I don't need dual spec. Weird like, weird flex. Yeah no, go, but it's, go, a, it's a fact. It's it's not a weird flex. Do you know what I mean? Joking, it, it, it's a fact. So it's like well, surely that is now that's a convenience. Dual spec is a convenience. So if you it's want to put a gold a sink in. It is a convenience. Ask, ask anybody yeah, who has I, a main I on Wrath of the like Lich King if they yeah, have dual spec. They're going to say they have dual spec. Find me somebody who plays Wrath of the Lich King or who plans on playing Cataclysm Classic that's like, oh yeah, I'm not going to have dual spec. That's yeah, I think everybody has fucking dual spec in Wrath of yeah, the Lich but, King. Maybe but, not on the alt. I do, but I don't main, need. But I do, but I don't need it. it. Then get I've rid got of it. Dual spec don't, on six never switch tunes spec. Go to your trainer every single time. You're going to respec from holy to ret to prot on your paladin. No, I'm talking about my mage. I don't. I don't. I don't, I, don't I, I don't need. I don't need See, it. But okay. But I do. Th I when do you, think Scotty is kind of right though. And you want a PVP for Tolbarad or something like that, and you want to switch off of your fire spec for raid. Yeah, then I'll don't, get dual don't spec. Don't use your dual spec. No, no, don't do it. You can't do that because that's. Hang on, no, no, but no one said you can't do it. Are you like no one said you can't do it? But uh, I'm not going to do it for one gold. I think Scotty. I'm talking a about the amount right, of though, gold. I'm not the, talking about remove fact, dual spec. I haven't said that. I'm saying well, like, dual spec is more mandatory than you're saying. That's all. Yeah, but, man, but mandatory but compared to what? You're saying that for the same reason I am go, and it's compared because to professions. Go ahead, we like we feel PvP is an integral part of the game, where Scotty literally doesn't give 
Like he doesn't give two shits about it. So I get it from his perspective. Yeah, right? but, yeah, but, yeah, but, but go, but go, PVE player, but, but yeah. go likes passing. So what you're a saying PVE is player that doesn't want to switch you, to a holy spec on their priest or switch to from their mage in sod to be able to heal. They don't want to be able to do that. They want to have to go back to their mage trainer in a major city and then take 15 minutes of everybody's time that's in their raid group instead of being able to swap with their dual spec. They, they, that type of player that doesn't want dual spec to be accessible likes the friction from vanilla to where, yes, you don't have dual spec. You didn't have time to grind your 50 gold out and pay for this. Sorry, go to your major city, spend your one gold, waste everybody else's time. That's perfect. That's that's exactly what I want. Uh, you I know, you, you I summed it up perfectly. The person that likes passing and you want, you want the professions gated further than dual spec the profession gated further than dual spec it's not for me how when it's more expensive than dual spec dual spec is cheaper it's, like yeah it, it's not yeah, gonna so be professions though, are more expensive. gold from doing gdkps in phase one no, 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 no what i'm saying GDKPs. is go, 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 so, so I'm go, go, go is making it sound like i don't want dual spec which is absolutely not what no, I've said. I, I know. You're saying that dual spec is not mandatory. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying dual spec. You're literally, you're, you're, you're literally fucking, literally proving my point. Dual spec is more valuable than professions. That's what you're saying, which is exactly yeah, what I've been saying since the word go. You sound like Angry Bob from a couple weeks ago. Yeah, no, but, no, <laughs> he's no. about to mute me. Fuck, I, I need to be quiet. To no, no, no. I, 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 would, I would never mute anyone. But that, that you're literally, <laughs> you're telling me, Go, that dual spec is more valuable than professions. Which is what I've been dual saying from the fucking start of this conversation. It is. It's, it's equal value. Yeah. So for me, well, it that, is. Well, that changed. Quick. I just... I just no no, no. like dual spec Not is the for most you, important but thing. Go on, it's oh yeah, I was about to say like I literally mentioned dual spec in the first episode of Warcraft Reloaded ever. Like it's the most important thing to me in the game period. But like, but like, I just I think that like it was a mistake last time around, and like I don't think we should suffer because of the mistake that they made in pricing it wrong. I don't know. That's what yeah. and it should be cheap as fuck. Make it ten gold, and I would be ecstatic because it's a seasonal it's server. A little cheap. If, if it was a a server that we knew had longevity, it was going to be a four or five year long project. Then make it more expensive. That's totally fine. Okay. You're right. I I mean I'm fine with it being ten. Right. Like I'm like like I almost feel like it should just be free. If we're if I'm actually yeah. being like like completely serious. Put it on the the thing where you buy it once on your main and it's account bound and your alt also has dual spec. Well, then go, go, you can go, raise the price. Play, go, then go, the play retail price voice. might be worth it. God, yeah, like we're trying to do a season of Discovery podcast where it's all about you know vanilla and the vanilla experience, and they just want like free dual spec. Probably they're gonna want free. mount. They're gonna want mount tabs next. I mean, what is this shit? Look, dude, I actually I hated that. Like I thought I was gonna be excited about that. And I hated it. So, okay, but we do need that. I we, don't. Do, I love it. We're talking about season of discovery. Yeah, and, and we we're gonna. Like we're, we're gonna left. Yeah, and we're gonna move on to the the, the next uh, news topic. Uh, I was right about the dual spec. Uh, no. Scotty, go ahead. But next topic. Nightmare. There's no right or there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. I'm fucking with him. I know. <laughs> I, I love dual spec. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. You just want it to cost five hundred gold. Uh, no, not that. not five hundred. I never said five hundred. A thousand. And, and then um, you want to have to do that on every single alt that you have. Oh, I want it to be I a thousand gold on every these Chinese a gold right these now fucking, fucking well, sod. Well, 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 these Chinese farmers. They're fucking. They've got twenty accounts farming twenty hours a day. Their kids fishing all day. What you don't want to give them money? Like honestly, you fucking boys need to grow up. Like someone needs to pay. Oh no, you're not allowed to buy gold, are you? <laughs> 
I've uh, never have, never will. Uh, anyway, nightmare uh, incursions. Let, should we should we insert an ad here, uh, and then we'll get back to Warcraft Reloaded in just one G second. G to G dot com. Thanks for sponsoring <laughs> today's episode of Season of Discovery. Yeah, right. Uh, go. You can talk us through this. The uh, the the, the day of my nightmare incursion loop. Yeah, mainly because I'm going to go for a piss and get a drink, and I'm going to go and get. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get my little like fucking witchcraft like little doll that I've got you, and I'm gonna fucking punch it in the face. <laughs> little voodoo doll. <laughs> yeah. So give me a minute. <laughs> Take your time, Scotty. Please take your time. Don't come back for at least 15 uh, minutes. Thank God. Now that he's gone, Woo. go. All right. Yeah, what, what a shit like, take yeah. that was from him. God damn. Jesus Christ, man. Scotty. I mean, he's I mean, he's getting old, you know what I mean? I thought he wouldn't shut the fuck up about how expensive <laughs> dual spec is supposed to cost. He's but. like trying to squeeze off the pee right now. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm coming back, fuckers. He's, I'm he's coming back. He's down the green screen. <laughs> Uh, nightmare incursions so uh, people are saying have fun in seasonal discovery and it looks like that's part of their mentality behind this event because there's some sort of trinkets that are in there that in even in sunken temple i think there's a lot of these trinkets that they're adding to the game that are strictly for fun and nightmare siphon not particularly one of those it's one of those level up things where it was kind of like the heirlooms, I think, that uh, gives you some health and mana back when you kill a target. Or it used to give you... It was like 2% haste or something like that, but then it would also get you health or mana if you killed something. So they're kind of bringing in heirlooms without bringing them in with this event. And then there's also a pretty sick uh, PvP ring, 14 stamina, and then a, a nice proc with some spell damage. For 10 seconds i'm kind of interested in that ring for balance druid wait wait hold on hold on what are you talking about kind of bringing in heirlooms i don't see the just the stats of the the nightmare siphon for the nightmare incursion screenshot i think he has it up on the screen right now oh he's got other loot on there it was up there okay but yeah explain it to me i i i, okay. I uh, this is. The, the Nightmare on. Siphon is a it's a level 20 trinket, uh, restores 150 health and mana when you kill a target that gives experience or honor. This effect cannot occur more than once every 10 seconds. Okay, I see how you're attributing it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. It's like a really good thing for leveling. Mm -hmm, yeah, so you can get that at level 20. They said this event was 25 to 50, but then this is where I was saying at the start of the show, it's like, well, there's items requires level 20, so... <laughs> But uh, and then there's uh the PvP sets. Um, the three set is ten stamina instead of fifteen from like the the ranked PvP gear, and then there's twenty attack power. Whereas I think the it's like double that or something for the rank five, six, seven, six set. But it's gonna be six a set. lot of six set. Let's go. <laughs> but you're not gonna be able to use the six set with your profession because your professions are bracers and shoulders. So you're gonna have to make that choice. Do you want to have a full set of PvP gear or do you want to wear some crafted profession gear that's PvE based? So it's kind of a weird thing that they did there. I kind of like their idea behind that. And then uh there's other stuff. There's the nightmare focus staff which I was kind of talking about is a pretty sick staff from this event. It's kind of comparable to um, Sunken Temple. Can you call this an event? Is it going to be on an event schedule? Well, it's a PVE. What else should, what should I call it? PVE. Just like instance? Like, I don't, I don't, any, I don't, I don't instance even know if it's going to have a cool event down. Sounds like it's going to be like... It's. It just sounds like it's going to be like, oh... This happens once every this, this amount of time. If it's a three hour thing, I don't I would hate that. I want this to be, hey, me and my four homies, we've got time. Let's go do this event. We go in there and we do it. Or it's like a free for all type of thing, but maybe there's group stuff that you can do in the free for all event. Yeah, but like, is there gonna be a, a, a cool down? Like can you just go in and like continue it? Like, you know, me at uh, uh, let's say I don't 40, think there's any can I just go it. and just sit in there? until 50 yeah just literally just farm rep and just sit in there till 50 and then buy all this gear and be like cool i'm ready for sunken temple yeah and then there's a lot of stuff in this event that is 
only able to be used in the event, I think. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Got, so like, little tool tips on some gear. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the crafted the the crafted gear has got like you need to be affected by the nightmare. I think you're going to be affected by the nightmare in Sunken Temple as well. Would be my okay, guess. The, it, there were some things that I think specifically said Sunken Temple, and then there was others that said the nightmare. So uh, I don't I'm know not which that. is. It, it could work like that because I was thinking the same thing. Like maybe there's one that works for both. Maybe there's one that works for each one separately i don't know but i i think when you're in sunken temple you're under a Renicus's nightmare the whole time you're in there mm. I, I would imagine sunken temple incursions you're under the yeah the nightmare that would be my guess anyway i'm yeah, not saying that's yeah. right but no it, it makes sense that it would do it i think it was just like the alchemy flasks were tooltip differently but it, that could be just a data mine thing where at one point they called it one thing another point in their development they called it something different mm, yeah uh but uh, but i agree with what you said earlier and i don't like agreeing with you anymore hell yeah i'm <laughs> glad we came to terms on something um yeah no like the the, the pvp gear is like subpar pvp gear the the pve yeah, yeah, gear is like subpar even pve gear like I, yeah, ju I yeah, just, yeah. Well, well, I just compared the staff to the Nomragon staff. Yeah, we're talking ten oh, yeah. <laughs> levels lower, and it's three, three. Like if you was using the defibrillating staff, it, like as a boomy, it's three more spell damage. I forget but the other look at stats. The stamina difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like thirty it, stamina on this thing, twenty six intellect. Like I feel like this would be a pretty decent, at least starter PvP like weapon. Yeah, yeah. So Maybe we, we can say PvP a main and off and better. Yeah. Like, but but when you're when it, you're talking, this is a level. Strong. When you're saying this is a level fifty PvP, uh, like, like a level fifty item, and as a boomy, you're gonna get three spell damage. And the weird thing about that staff is it has like the highest item level of almost any piece that's been data mined. It's a 50, like item level 58. Everything else is like 55. The blue gear, is, a lot of it is 50. Epic gear is 55. This staff is item level 58 <laughs> just because of the amount of stamina and intellect on it, I guess, because, yeah, it, it's lacking in the spell power department. Yeah, and, and like, obviously, um, uh, uh, Dadge in chat you know like intellect is is only as valuable as how long the fight lasts in vanilla though that's the thing isn't it it's like you know like uh, you uh, if you've got enough intellect too. if you've yeah but if you've got enough intellect to get through the fight you want more spell damage like on the item so the fact that it's only got three yeah. more like that's a, a little bit on the low side and it's it's less it's less if you're in if you're using like the gnome Ragon dagger and offhand, and again, like you're not bothered about your mana pool. It's got more oh, than this no level fifty. <laughs> it's got more than it's got more than that. Uh, but okay, right. so so that's the incursions anyway. But th this is the one thing I'm excited for. You know, like repeatable PVE content. I want to jump in and go, guys. Like, uh, let's go do an incursion. Uh, uh, that's why I'm hoping it it's going to be good. It's repeatable PVE content giving PVP gear. You don't find that strange at all? I, that's the, what I was going to bring up. I was like, okay, people have been bitching about this, and Scotty's been bitching about this a lot. Like, I guess you're they're even just doubling yourself, down on it. Yeah, are like, you, as a pve -er, are you going to use any of this gear that you could get from this event? Like, what, what's going to draw you to this event without a reward that you're going to use? Uh, well, we, we like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like I'm going purely by data mind information. Yeah, there's not a lot there, to be honest. Yeah, yeah there's not. Like, I want to be excited about this, but I just don't know. But I don't. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll, where, I'll but I find out though. But I yeah, do same. PVE yeah. content for fun, like ease of accessibility. Like, if anybody, you, like, if there's anybody watching this live right now that has been watching the stream tonight on Kick, which I know a lot of you boys are still on Kick. I've been doing gammas all night on my mage. I need nothing. Like, I, mean, see, I, wasn't, I, I wasn't with PvP. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wasn't. Like, I wasn't doing the Mason for nothing. Like, I mean, it's just like fun. Yeah, but, but, but part, down. Yeah, part, Scott, you're part, not leveling your third alt on the yeah, catabata. Yeah, part, so, yeah, you had to get on wrath. Partly the catabata being down, but partly because it's just fun. You've got a group and you just queue in RDF and then you end up in an instance and then you just smash some shit. You know, like it, that. That's fun. 
So if the incursions were fun, and it's just like, yeah, you, you can just get in there quick and easy, and there's, there, there is no friction, like, I don't need a reward. You know, which, 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 which is a fact. Yeah, I know you do, and I, but I don't. <laughs> I know. I'm so loot driven and yeah, fucking I, insane. I know you are, and but, but I don't need it. Like, uh, I'm you know, gold I, driven. I, I went on. So I, I, um, I bought on my second account, uh, like literally yesterday. I bought the the Catter upgrade edition. Um, so I got a free boost. So I just boosted my level one shaman to eighty. And I was like, well, that's another alchemist. So today during the day. Uh, my kids have been ill, so one have not been well. I I, I was off with oh, them. Uh, they're, they're they're fucking slacking bastards. They just wanted a day off school, didn't they? Um, so I I leveled alchemy on this freshly dinged shaman. We went and done some gammas. I was like on the mage, just pumping away. Went on the shaman, and I was bored shitless, you know, because I weren't pumping. It's like freshly dinged. It's like doing absolutely nothing. Uh, so it weren't fun. Does that is is that weird? You know, so it was like I I need to do lots of damage for it to be fun. So I I done like one or two on the shaman, and, and then was like, no no no, I'll go back on the mage. On the uh, the shaman needs gear, the mage don't. But I was having more fun on the mage. You have more fun. Yeah yeah exactly. Yeah. So I've even had that problem. I'm trying to like work up different like my different characters. My rogue needs so much more Warsaw Gulch and Rathy Basin, but I'm having just so much fun with the freaking hunter right now. <laughs> like I'm just the hunter's gonna be done way before the rogue. And and that's so that's, that's what it was. So I just went back on the mage. I needed nothing from gammas, but I just carried on spamming gammas with the boys. We was just yeah, just having fun and it was just fun because I was pumping, you know. So like if these incursions, like cause I really like my mage on sod, which I've said multiple times. Like, if these are actually fun to do, and I can go in there and just pump and, like, yeah. Well, and if, I don't really need a lot. If, just the reputation, that's and, enough. And if they're good gold. Like, I'll go a lot of times just to, like, a Scarlet uh, Monastery run with, you know, buds that are working up alts just because I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to make gold. Like, so, I mean... That's another thing. Like, hopefully, like the drops and stuff are like good for like gold generation. I'm scared of this event because, as we've seen with the PvP events, Ashen Vale, Stranglethorn Vale, it's been kind of buggy. It's been kind of laggy. There's no PTR, and then it's actually really good now, like lag wise. Like, how long I mean, has it taken to get there, though? Yeah, well, but Two that's months? probably that's probably why they're not doing a new a new one. They're like, fuck it, dude, we got this fucking oh, yeah, yeah. figured out. Like, we're just leaving this fucker. Like, but it's been, I mean, last night during the biggest prime time hour on Crusader Strike uh, US, there was a little bit of lag, and I mean that's huge. Like, I mean, I'll take I'll take that because. For a lot of different times, it was unplayable. So, yeah, the, yeah. it just makes me feel like I, people are going to somehow be able to abuse the fuck out of this event the first day or two of the event, and then it's going to get patched, it's going to get changed, and that felt kind of felt kind of bad for the STV event where some people day one, day two, they were able to get in there and like farm a whole bunch of fucking coins. They got all their gear. They got their mounts like super early. They got yeah, all but, this reputation. Yeah, but you saw like you got eight hundred coins with me just the one time in a in a scuffed group. Like that's like like it was only like eight like five hundred or uh, a thousand for the different pieces of gear. Like it wasn't it wasn't bad. Like. But like you're talking about people knowing about the stuff, there's still Dippo uh, uh, mages that are sitting on the shrine, a AOEing, thinking that they're doing something, and they didn't read the patch notes because AOE does nothing by I the freaking. <laughs> I saw in. arcane explosion was hitting me while I was on the pillar, so maybe it's not like maybe it's certain AOEs, but I I swear. Oh, no, definitely, was yeah. Me. I don't think explosive it, doesn't hit you. Now, I mean, you got to be right on it. Like, yeah, I'll, or I'll on, on it. Yeah. I, and I and I don't think on top of it works. Okay. Like Wait, so, if you, you got to be on, on it, but not on top of it. You have to be <laughs> like but. Like, yeah, but, your butt on to it, it, but in it. <laughs> not yeah. or a butt to it, and like you're oh, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But like on top of it, I think isn't 
it was probably like a programming like issue uh with it but every time i've jumped on top i die instantly but like these mages are still just doing it i guess they're doing it because there's people like you jumping on top i, I wasn't on top i was on the <laughs> edge the border i wasn't on like the top of the the tip the, I, I you was, the tip, you you was definitely on the tip <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I was on the base, not right, on the tip. Well, uh, we've got like like ten minutes, so let's uh, let, let's go to the next one. All right. So rate what, what rate consumables. Um, uh, I'm I'm against it just because it's more consumes that you might have to get. It's like, oh, if I want to PvP, I need to consume because it works Whoa. in PvP. If I if I'm going to sunken, tem sunken temple, I need this consume. If what I'm doing the consume? nightmare incursion, I need this consume. I and like there, the but there is shoulder off. there is shoulder enchants though. So the forget shoulder enchants are huge. Yeah. yeah. Uh what nine is it nine nine spell power? Nine for spell casters? powers. Eight. I, I love it. Yeah, 18 healing, right. 15 attack power. Oh. Yeah. These are the ones Those he was I saying like. were like the Z the the ZG buffs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Zanza, Zanza elixirs, basically. Yeah. But they're yeah. Apple so, I elixirs. But they're exactly the fucking same, pretty much. So do we know if they're gonna go by the same rules of classic? Like, okay, so for how like usually only warriors and rogues really know this in classic. Like, because nobody else has to really deal with the amount of consumes. But every consume, you could have a billion, but you could only have one strength, one attack power, one int, one, like, you see what I'm saying? Every stat you could have one of, but you can't have, like, as far as drinkable uh, yeah, and yeah. consumables, right? So, like... So like you have to pick and choose based on that. So you can have like, but you can't have two agi cons uh, consumes active. You can't have, you know what I mean. So that's why winter fire fire water was so big because it was your attack power buff. Yeah. So 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 the this only thing that that does cause... change from is the blasted lands buffs. Those stack. Yeah, so the, 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 these should stack because there, there's no attack power elixir. There's no spell power elixir. Oh, actually, arcane elixir. Um, uh, attack power is. I mean, do we uh, do we know for sure? Winter fire, fire water, or winter spring fire? What is what, what level is it? Shit, I don't know. I I, I, I would have thought that was like Yetis in Winter Spring. Yeah, exactly. It well, might be like fifty five. Yeah, so yeah, I, I would imagine it's. I would it's imagine 45. it's. Oh, it's forty five. Winter Winter Fall Fire. Oh water. baby, oh my god, dude, mm, that's maybe. gonna be a big hot spot for melee attack fire by thirty five and size for twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. so maybe. Uh, but I, I, I'd imagine these it are does. completely unique. Like, I'd imagine you can Hopefully. use these with anything and everything. Because if you couldn't, you think so? You think okay? I, I feel like these, are gonna, these might be null and well. They say that they're this effect or this has no effect outside of Sunken Temple. So yeah. it's not like we're going to be able to farm these and use these. Uh, exactly. okay. so they're going to be. Yeah. They're going to be usable. This is a one phase. They're going to be unique. Yeah, yeah, I was just curious, like, because if the attack power one, you wouldn't be able to stack that with. Uh, with uh what's it called um um uh fire water yeah so that was that's why i'm kind of curious and we still don't know we still don't know i don't like i don't even know if that i think that was like a like a game stipulation like not like a rule that they set like oh but, yeah yeah like a yeah, like the, the client not uh, the... on the programming yeah 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 I do but, feel uh, like I, I, I no feel idea. like the mojo. I feel like the mojo of life might be missing something though. So, increases healing done by forty five, mana regen by eleven, uh, MP five, and your heals have a chance to restore eight energy, one percent mana, or four rage. Only one like. The, the, there's not much personal gain there. I know as a healer, they, yeah, like you shouldn't have much personal gain, but. You know, like that, that's still uh, you're putting rapture in in on uh, you know an elixir for the the. It'd be yeah. nice. To, it'd be nice for for the healer to have got something, you know, rather than usually it's double the spell power for healing. 
Yeah, so it's 40 spell power, but it's 45 healing. But stats could change. You, you never know what these are going to end up when they go live. Uh, just me as I a healer. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm sort of like, well, fuck, I don't want to give them rage or energy. I <laughs> Fuck them. I want something that's going to like give me something. You know, like, yeah. j j just for, yeah, more fun. Obviously, it's great having, like, the rapture effect. And we know, like, even in ICC on, like, Putricide, you know, we, we want to stack hearts and fucking, yeah, get, get you know, give the um, A-bomb as much energy as possible and shit like that. But that's quite boring as a healer. The others are great. Like, the other two are great. I feel like that limits the healers to only healing the rogues or ferals for the the energy or a a rage class because nobody gives a fuck about one percent mana no, no exactly no caster's gonna be like oh please keep a hot on me so i get this one percent mana oh man like you please give me that no but the rogues their whole rotation can change from getting an extra eight energy from this proc yeah I just, I mean, this it's, is the it's first time i'm looking at you it. Yeah, it's super kind of you go to even assume that rogues are going to be in raids in phase three. I appreciate that. Uh, you, your runes are fucking busted, bro. That one second we'll cooldown for yeah, your, but we bring nothing to the raids, so we're gonna have to see. Like, oh, can we talk about the poisons now, Scott? Oh, and, and, and actually, out of time. and what the guys are saying in chat as well. To be fair, it's a forty second cooldown as well. Oh, for the well, that's it, it's data mined again. No yeah, buffer rage shutter. I don't know. I just think, like, as a healer, getting something more, a little bit more fun for yourself, you know. And I'm not a healer, but I, I can imagine, like, oh, great, more, just more shit. I'll just give, give them some shit. Like, no, give me some shit. I want some shit. Uh, right, yeah, we, we do. We, we, we don't have long. So, all right, okay. So, they're the consumables. Uh, what are these? The PvP items. So the sets. Have you got anything you want to talk about when it comes to the sets? Wait, are uh, these the are these the sets from ranking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the knight yeah. lieutenant and all that blood guard, all that stuff. I haven't seen them. I'm like, well, the only thing I'm, I, I'm I, like I watching the stream. The only thing I would say is like, yes, they're PvP sets, but I'd fucking use them for PvE. Like they're not. It, it, it depends on how much damage we're taking in the raid. Then yes, because if if there's a lot of AOE damage or I'm taking damage as a ranged and I need stamina to help me live, then this PVP gear is going to come in clutch. Yeah, I'll just say shout out to my boy Zai Zai Reed who's been working on these. Thank you for making new um, sets with new set bonuses. Like it is pretty cool to see all these. And it's going to be pretty cool to see what smarter people than me come up with. So I, I compared the six set PVP with what I could find as data mined PVE, like equivalent, like best in slot. And the PVP gear gives 773 extra stamina and I lose 36 spell power. And to me, that was like, and I get 16 extra intellect on my PVP gear than my PvE gear. And I get more spirit on my PvP gear than my PvE gear. So it's PvP the, gear is like just better for uh, PvE. Almost. It, like 36 spell power, it's kind of big, it's kind of not. And like the PvE gear gave two hit, whereas I didn't get two hit in my PvP gear. So uh, just the amount of stamina though. Like if you're having trouble living in your raid... If you had your PvP set, you're not. It's not going to hurt you. It's really going to help. So it's like, I, I feel like they're trying to remove one form of gameplay from the other one. It's like, oh yeah, if you want a PvP, here's your gear. But I don't know if they they did it right. They tried. I don't know if it's going to work. I, I think people might just go for the PvP stuff. It's like Nightmare Incursion. Yeah, we're going to get our PvP preset. We're going to have all this stamina. Do we want to lose all this stamina from our in Nightmare Incursion stuff that's slightly worse than our ranked gear just so we can have a little bit of extra damage? Well, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's exactly what I said in my Phase 3 video when I was like, is it a good idea? I'd use most of this for PvE. Like, honestly, like, I looked at the mage set and was like, 
I, I, I'd use that in PvE. Like, it, 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 it's, it's just fucking barely any difference. And then when you've said like 36 spell power, did you say 36? Thir 36 spell power for 73 stamina. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that, that's a big trade-off. Um, you know, it, it, when I say a big trade-off, I don't mean a big trade-off in a negative way, but like 36 is, that's not huge when you really think yeah. about how much it's adding to a starfire or a fireball or, or whatever, you know. It's a 0 0.03 spell power coefficient. <laughs> Yeah, it it's uh, I don't know. I don't. I I, I like what I've done though. Like, uh, like in, in my in I'm my opinion, I, I like what I've done. I like what I've done in terms of trying to add an actual PvP set to try and uh -huh. say like, look, if you want a PvP, this is the set you want to try and get. If you want a PVE, this is the set you want to try and get. But I still think with how bursty PVE. Uh, how bursty PvP is in Season of Discovery, and there's no resilience, there's no way of reducing it. The only way you can survive is by having a bit more stamina. I still think, on the most part, the majority of PvE gear is going to be better if you're trying to delete someone. Mm, yeah, yeah it, de it depends. Yeah. yeah like, it, it's survivability, obviously, having higher stamina, but. This is it, yeah, it just time. depends on like the type of group you have. There, there's still there's like, still no actual divide, is there? It's like now it's just added yeah. some more options for gearing. I don't. I don't... The, the, this is the first time I'm going for PvP gear over PVE gear in classic since 2019. I'm like this gear to me looked better because I, I I said at the start of the show like I'm more looking forward to the PvP side of Phase Three, so. I, this means I don't have to worry about professions either, I don't think, because shoulder slot. Go ahead, Bob. No, I was trying to I was trying to wait till you were done. I was just No, you're you good, know. you're good. You're good. So another thing you really have to look into, and I don't I think you're into this, thing. Scotty. Go like goes not into it. And I'm into it, but like I haven't like got the opportunity to do it with a group, but speed running. That type of stamina in a speed run group is fucking huge. It, speed running has been pretty popular in Sod. There, there's been a lot of black. Yeah, I want to get into stuff. No more speed running phase two. Yeah, and, dude, and like Cat just makes it look, look dumb, and she's like, <laughs> I, I do this, 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 thirty six consumes. <laughs> yeah, and like she knows when to. Oh my god, she's she's yeah. she's incredible. She's impressive. Uh, but to to Z Dub, they said uh, so you can only get the PvP or the PVE gear. No, you can get both. But the PvP gear is looking really strong for PVE. And Which is why I said they shouldn't up. be able to have those honor marks just to get it immediately. We're going back to that. See? But, is it, <laughs> but is this not like why I, I do feel like I appreciate every, everything they're doing with Sod uh, and, you know, the experimentation and stuff, but they are kind of just doing the same thing that's been done in the past. <laughs> a, a little bit, yeah. It, it, it's the it, same as it was before, slightly different, yeah. I, I know what you're saying. It's like, well, you, you, you could just put resilience in and have a clear divide between PvP okay, gear I, and PvE gear. Oh, I hate I'm resilience. I'm going to mute you, Scotty. Yeah, I'm going to mute yeah. you. You're like, I hate resilience, <laughs> uh, but you like Dude, high stand gear, which Scotty, is the same Scotty, thing. Scotty, you don't play, you don't PvP. Resilience sucks, dude. It sucks. No, no, I like, don't. I don't. PV, I don't PvP at the moment. So much because some have more crit. So, oh my no, god. Uh, no, I, so, I hate resilience. I hate it so much. Th this is what I've noticed. They're they're trying to separate PvP PVE gear, so they're adding more stamina to the PvP gear and less stamina for PVE gear, which just makes the PVE content. It feels weird because it's like if you use your PvP gear, you have an advantage. Because if they add any sort of AOE damage to the PvE gear or yep. PvE raid, yep. you can nullify that with PvP gear because you're going to need to have it to survive. Well, that nullify it, but like give your healers a lot it. more opportunity. Yeah. It's and not going to give be you a lot scary. more opportunity to bandage everything else too.
And that's why yeah, they added it resilience. Really weird. So yeah, they added re- they really added weird. resilience. So then it was getting, a PvP I only. I hate you, Kenny. But that's what they do. Classic <laughs> era client. There's no resilience <laughs> in classic era. So they're yeah. yeah, but they can add it. They can add it. Yeah, but they can add it on on new eyes. I stand. I stand by. It was the worst thing they ever added to PvP and WoW ever. But they're trying to separate it, like like we've just discussed. They're trying to separate it with higher stam gear, which clearly don't work. Right here, okay, I'll okay, I'll give you this, Scotty. The biggest problem when they put out re 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 zil gear is most of the time they gated it by a reader rating, which is mm. was just dumb as shit from the start. And then on t- on top of that, you had to spend hours and hours and hours grinding BGs or anything just to buy a piece. Whereas you could go to a fucking PvP raid and get three pieces in one fucking half an hour run. You see the problem with that? Like... So maybe if they change the way it like what it costs. What have you been? What, 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 what have you What have you been doing good. recently, Bob? Uh, what do you mean? Have you been doing lots and lots and lots and lots of battlegrounds? Yes. Yeah. So, so, you, so you deserve the resilience fun. gear. No, no, you just hit on it, Scotty. I'm doing BGs with gear, and that makes it fucking badass. Without gear, battlegrounds fucking suck. Like that's the whole point. Yeah, but the more you, bada the bada more battle gr- boom, the, drop the mic. The more battlegrounds uh, you do, the more gear you get. Yeah. So, but you so have to pick, can you pick the mic back bullshit. up? I just you have to both suffer of you guys. through that bullshit. Like I get to do battlegrounds with all the PVE gear that I have because there's no PVP gear. So my PV uh, my PVE gear is PVP gear, and I get to have a good time while I do PGs. Whereas that wouldn't be the case in TBC, Wrath, anything beyond that. Oh, I mean, it, uh, kind, have... it kind of is. It is exactly the case. You can have a good time in in, in Wrath right now in full get big ITC gear. No, I mean, I, okay, no, so no, at I'll all. I'll give you in uh, in TBC. I had a good time on my Rogue when I had no gear because. I just chose a play style of just fucking with people instead of actually trying to kill anybody. Yeah, just like fucking with people, like sapping them. Like, you know, you can make a difference. But on my warrior, I wanted to shoot myself in the head until I got like full, like, like full gear. So like, yeah, it's like, so so, uh, no, I understand. I understand the way it was. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I agree. I understand. So what you're saying is we we, we need time, to Scotty. we need to full we need to get full PVE gear and then we can PVP right hey, yeah or I you understand. need full PVP Just... gear and then you can PVE one way or the yeah, other so yeah you, so you, you need to do one there's or the no other no PVP gear that's yeah yeah what's yeah beautiful there's exactly. no resilience so, yeah so you can you, you, you gotta do, move you, one hand before you move the other hand yeah you and get full you PVE move, gear then yeah. you go and PVP right okay I'm gonna pretend or full that that makes sense PVP gear and then you PVE. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pretend that either way makes sense. Um, yeah, it's fine. Dude, what I said makes complete sense. Like, I'm having a blast PvP, PvP because I didn't, every time I've, like, I didn't join a PvP match until I had gear. And so every PvP match has been fucking badass. Whereas if we're talking TBC or Wrath, I got to go through about a good 20 to 40 hours of wanting to kill by yourself before i could actually compete with anybody in but the, you B- went, but in you, the but, bg but you went through 20 to 40 hours of pve before you done pvp what's the difference uh pve is easier by like i mean like a mile like i mean it's not about easy not it's about comparable. is it not about is it not about fun no it's about fun it's but about like both. there's like, I mean, uh, unless AI catches up with us or whatever, but there's no AI in Classic WoW. Like, I mean, like, literally, PvE is a joke compared to, like, PvP, like, as far as difficulty. They did say one of the fights in Sunken Temple might change week to week. I don't remember which, which boss they which said. Is, is that going to be AI? Is, <laughs> no, which, 
it's just the same thing as the different thing you get on Crow on Crow Magnus every week. It's just gonna be like a random different set of uh what's it called? Romulo and Juliet and Karazan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get it's get that big bad wolf. That same time oh, of day. <laughs> yeah. oh, don't talk about the Karazan. You know I like that. Oh, I know. Uh, is there anything else? Because, Scotty, I know you need to go. You can't miss two NA raids in the same week. Uh, I might get benched. I might get benched. If you get day. benched, that'd be perfect, because we have so much more to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty didn't know. Well, he, he hasn't actually replied, and I was like, can I go on the mage tonight? Like, uh, so, so for <laughs> anyone who don't know, I got very drunk two nights ago on stream. I was meant to raid. Um, I put, for some reason, I put a bag of rice in the microwave and turned it on so it cooked it and then went outside and then put the barbecue on and then fell asleep on the bench while the barbecue Holy was heating up. Shit. And then I woke up six and a half hours later outside freezing cold and was like, shit, I missed the raid. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah but Scotty the barbecue, like again. everybody was, o but everybody was okay, right? Like you didn't start a fire or anything, right? Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, this is an avatar <laughs> yeah yeah i've already died i'm sorry about everybody else but i did that once in uh somebody uh, died af no after college i remember i went in i was gonna make bacon and i had made bacon the day before and i had like a pan of bacon grease so i was gonna just heat the bacon grease up right and uh, then I was going to come back down and put bacon on. Well, a friend showed up with like some uh, alchemy supplies. Um, mm -hmm. And yep. yeah, we went up and, you know, started making potions. And um, all of a sudden, the fire alarms are going off. I run downstairs and like the pan is just smoke, is just billowing off of it. But there's no fire, right? So I'm like, oh, God. So I like I need to go like 10 feet from the stove to the back to the backyard. So I go grab the pan. And as I'm walking with the pan, it fucking goes up in fire. And like it's and then I like screwed up and like jiggled. And I like a, <laughs> some of the grease on, on a fire landed on, 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 on my foot. Burnt the shit out of my foot, then, then laid it on the Jesus. carpet, burnt the shit out of the carpet, and then I finally got it outside, and I was like, oh. So, yeah, it was a lesson learned. I never did that ever again. But no, so, so, no, the, 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 I didn't have any of that. I, I didn't have any of that. <laughs> so I, I was worried about, uh, that's why I was worried about the barbecue. No, so. no, no, no. You no, got so, a smokeless so, barbecue. I got, it has no smoke. I no got flame. a smokeless barbecue <laughs> that smokes and flames. Uh, but, but <laughs> obviously, they, they ain't going to see it on stream. Um, but there, you can see it. Obviously, I got the microwave. Yeah, yeah. So I, I put the rice in the microwave, and then I went outside and laid on the bench, uh, and I'd lit the barbecue, and I know it lit the barbecue because when I woke up the next day, Laura said to me, "Why have you got a lighter?" And I was like, "I don't really know. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know what happened last night." Um, Surprise! Oh no! <laughs> but I literally woke up at half. Was it like the night that you shaved Meta Goblin's head? It was like that. I, I got pretty shit faced, and I woke up at half six in the morning outside on a bench with a barbecue just lightly smouldering. Still, um, never got any food, and the first thing I thought was, "Oh, I've missed a raid." Half <laughs> six. But Nothing it, else. Dude. I didn't think anything else. I wasn't like, oh, I'm hungry. Or, oh, I'm hungover. I was like, oh, my God, I've missed a raid. And I messaged the raid leader and was like, man, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I went out to make some food in the garden and fell asleep, woke up in the garden. I mean, it was probably like minus four. <laughs> you know, it was pretty cold. Dude, Scotty, I think we're, I think we're lucky that we're an ocean apart. Yeah, because we'd have some really if, rough nights, wouldn't we? If, if we lived <laughs> close together, we'd have some fucked up nights. Yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> like, I don't doubt we'd that have at some all. Crazy nights. Oh man, you got to come to BlizzCon next year. I'm, I'm coming, yeah, we're, but we're not done. We're not done. We're, gonna do we're not done. We're I'm, not I'm, done. I'm in the raid. I'm in the raid. It's all right. There, there's only like 18 <laughs> people in there or something at the moment. So uh, huh, huh. they've got the new supply turnings data mine for phase three. Again, something oh, I've not really looked at. In. 
Yeah, rugged leather, major uh, healing potions, wicked leather braces. Uh, so there's there's more to that. Does it say how many you need to turn in of those things? Because I saw a couple that said you only needed to turn in one. Well, all of these say one. I could probably dig into it further if I wanted to, but it, it was okay, just then, maybe more to give people an idea of what you can turn in. There was two other things that I was looking at before we went live that kind of tie into this whole supply crate stuff. And there was one that said there's there's an item called supply expediter. And the tooltip said you sometimes find additional waylaid supplies from enemies. So there might be a consumable coming in phase three that you can use to help you find some crates. And then there was a second. Oh, there's cool. a, there a, a second epic item, and it's called Empty Supply Crate. And its tooltip said, find a use for all those empty supply crates. So if there's supply crates that cost a lot of fucking gold to buy the mats from from the auction house, I imagine that this is a way that you can put three to five empty supply crates into this, and it might count as a full supply crate and still give you the reputation maybe the gold from stuff like that. So I feel like the whole way late supply stuff is going to have a lot of fucking changes in phase three. Which it should, because it's been fairly shit in phase two, let's be honest. Yeah, it's been very, very shit, yeah. So uh, I'm stoked for these little changes because uh, I didn't even... I mean... I didn't get to revered in phase two. I got to honored or whatever it was in phase one because I was hyped about it. There was a rune tacked behind it, but then phase two, uh, I didn't really bother with it that much. Um, I just let it go. I got uh, revered on the rogue three days ago, and I just looted. I just looted uh, a spider sausage one now, and so my hunter is going to get re re revered now too. But I will say, when they changed the gold thing, like I I have made a good. I mean, probably like 70 to 90 gold on the different ones. Although the turtle scale bracers, like I've, I've just thrown those out. Cause like, like dip shits don't know how to control the market. And if yeah. you're going to like, if you're going to price that those at six, six gold, 20 silver, I'm not going to lose 40 silver to turn in one. Be smarter. You want to talk about any yeah. of the Blood Moon stuff? I'm I'm like skipping through it now. Uh, I'm I'm just pissed about the Blood Moon. Uh, the Blood Moon gear. gear looks way too good. I will say that it, it looks shit for Druid. So uh, maybe Bob's talking about Rogue or Warrior. Probably uh, maybe even Hunter. He's he's playing a lot of classes right now. But uh, Warrior Paladin um, Hunter looked really good. I don't know. Oh, I guess the crossbow. I'm yeah, like literally. Yeah, it's like literally pre bis like both of them for either melee or ranged. Um, I, I'm I'm actually blanking on the rogue. Like I I don't know if I was really stoked about the rogue. Paladins like just got way too much love and stop giving paladins the best models. A grin. <laughs> I mean, ma ma rogue mage was shit as, as well. It's like, oh great, another ring. Uh, like uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 uh, shit. But, the druid offhand, it was 16 arcane damage, 16 nature that just changed to 16 spell power. So we can use that stat as a heal as well. And then it added 14 stamp five int. O okay, cool. Like, thank, thank you. Uh, it just, it's an illusion, I guess, because it is giving us extra healing, which balance druids heal a lot in PvP, PvE. So it's nice that it's spell power instead of limited to it's arcane. It's just not nature, exciting. Yeah, 14 stand 5 in going from level 40 to 50. Okay, cool. I have 140 more like health. Yeah, and the, the, <laughs> is it, the mage rings are the same. It's like, uh, have a bit more stamina. Have a tiny little bit more spell power with whatever your chosen school is. They're, like, they're, they're dog shit. Yeah. So it's like if you did phase two... There's not that much incentive, just strictly gear uh, speaking, to redo the event just to get an offhand with stamina on it instead of not having stamina on it. But, but uh, like, I don't know. like well, Darren just said, he thinks, 
Aaron just said he, he, he don't think that's the final. You know, you know they may change. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, only yeah, state of mind. Change. Any Staff of it could change. change. Yeah, so I think it's worth worth saying any of it could change. But if this is the 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 thought process they're going along, where it's like, well, they're just going to be a little bit stronger than they were last phase. That's really <laughs> fucking boring. Like, let's be honest. And maybe, hopefully, there's something new because there was like the, the cloak was kind of neat in phase two for me because that was like my my blood, phase blood, bliss blood, was cloak my cloak. Or it was. Yeah, yeah, the blood moon. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but like the caster blood moon cloak, and it was like three silver, two silver. And when I re leveled on NA and got my tune up to forty, that was the first thing I bought from this event because I knew it was my best in slot, and I was like, hell yeah. So hopefully there's offset pieces that just haven't been data mined or anything like that. So there's maybe, I don't know, a neck, a, a ring, a cloak, bracers, something. Well, and I assume there's going to be, I mean, I assume you're going to still be able to buy honor with the new the, yeah. the new tokens. I, I think it said 250 those, honor for some of the new tokens. Yeah. yeah, those types of things. And maybe they add more reps in there too. Like you still be able to buy the mount like you know two probably like well, no, you, you, can, you, can mount, but, uh, you can downgrade you can downgrade it to get the mount yeah yeah you can downgrade question, the new one though um so i thought about it while i was all while i was away but yeah the rogue ones looked weird what's up with the sword the fast sword that increases run speed if it was an odd use effect like where I could use oh, it when I hit. wanted to, that would make sense to me. But chance on hit, it's just like, oh, Brecht, run, run, run. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do with that? Like, I, I don't even understand. Like, it would be awesome for PvP if you could just like pop it, right? But yeah. if it's a chance on hit, like, what the fuck? Huh? We got, I was we so got confused time, we got, by that. We've got time for one more, and I thought this would be a good one to go with, because it, it, this is going to be the last one. Shoot. The Dark Moon Shoot. card decks that have been data mined. Yeah. So when when Agron said, like, some of this shit won't be in the game, this is one of them that I was like, I don't think this is going to be in. Purely... Do you think they're going to save all the Dark Moon stuff until 60? Well, no, I mean, uh, you've got the Dark Moon decks at, 50, uh, at 60, obviously, but, like, this is, uh, you know, like, you need uh, an M-Wing bot. Like, if you was going by the traditional vanilla um, way the, the decks work, obviously you got, like, the beat Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. that drops the Ace of Beats. Uh, I'm sorry, I was good. It'll be a tangent. Oh, no, I'm no, no. It's no. like, why does sometimes you say vanilla, sometimes you say vanilla? What? Vanilla. The UK accent, but sometimes you say vanilla, or maybe that's Josh Corbett that does that. Sorry. I just say vanilla. Never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah, I shouldn't even have brought it up. But what I'm saying is, you know, like if they're going to follow the old school path, I won't even say vanilla in case it confuses you again. Um, they've got, <laughs> a, a, you know, the, the ace normally drops from a boss. So you've got what? One, two, three, four. So you could have like an ace that drops from. Well, Ubers is open though, right? In this next phase, we can go fifteen man into mm, Ubers. No, it's just. Am Zolf, I crazy? It's Moradon, oh, it's Zolf, just Farah, BRD and BRD. It's yeah, just BRD. So, so you could have like one one of the M bosses in Zol Farrakh drops an ace. One in uh, maybe you could potentially have two in Moradon that drop an ace. Um, but then these would then need to drop in the open world between level 40 and 50. Um, I, I just don't know. I don't know. And they're weird as well. The trinkets are weird. Uh, the Dark Moon they, trinkets? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, they, I, I, I don't... Okay. I, I, don't I, I, I question that they'll be but, in the game in their current state. Oh, so I you think... Not. Yeah, but you think... They've yeah they've got to be a you're you're probably right. Well, I mean they say they say requires level fifty though. That's what like throws. Yeah yeah me yeah. Up. That's but what like, I'm saying. I I, I this feel like this is something they played about. All the other trinkets that are coming later too. Or maybe they don't do that. Maybe this this is like because there's a lot of things at level like I still 
wonder if like we're not gonna get molten like I feel like phase three is gonna hit. We're gonna start out with Sunken Temple, and then six weeks in, they're gonna be like, All right, molten core is open. I hope so. Like I really feel like it's gonna be something like that where they kind of like prolong and push uh the uh release of phase four back by opening a new raid which i i i really feel like that's going to be a thing that they do i have no grounds or basis it's complete feels craft but assuming mm. oh no no could happen I, I just looked at these trinkets and this is the out of all of the data mine that's happened. I just looked at these and was like, I don't know. I don't, I, I, just, I don't, yeah. I don't see it. Cause you can, I know we, we have to keep saying it every time we go to a new topic, but these values could change, but you can click on like the equip bonus. So for like, uh, what is it? Sandstorm, dark moon card, sandstorm, you click on it and then, you can see that it's going to do 200 to 300 nature damage if somebody goes through that stand sandstorm. That, that's not that much health. That's not that much damage for this trinket to have that much value at level 50 with how much stamina gear they're adding into the game. It's like, is somebody going to use this for PvE? Absolutely not. Are they going to use it for PvP? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. So Wait, I, no, it says dealing zero nature damage, though. Uh, dealing zero, but if you go down to the effect, you mouse over the sandstorm effect. It says targets pass through take two hundred to three hundred nature damage. Yeah, which I, I think that's the yeah, same but... as Dark Moon Carb Maelstrom. Does it? Does Is it, it Maelstrom? Maelstrom oh, was it that? I was it Maelstrom the Moon one that? Yeah, I can't remember what uh, Maelstrom I, was. I feel like Maelstrom was two hundred to three hundred nature damage. I, I could be wrong. Uh, I mean, we, we can look it up. Uh, yeah, Dark Moon Card Mal like Dark with, Moon with Card Maelstrom with 200 it, to 300 damage. It's like they've literally took the exact same effect. So it, yeah, and that's a level 60 trinket. Pasted and haven't changed the values to what it's going to actually be. And that's what but I mean. Would it, yeah. Would it be lower than that? Because it, that's a level 60 trinket. So yeah, but <laughs> we're doing more damage than we would at 60. So yeah. And does it yeah, and does it like the spell power like Oh you can fly and cat now? Like Well well then like mages it. wouldn't want it uh Shadow Priest wouldn't want it. Uh, it would only be like Shaman and Druid that would want it to increase the nature damage. Yeah, well no, spell power would increase all schools of oh, magic. Spell power. I would imagine yeah. not spell power eh. I feel like it would, yeah, it would like add add the yeah. spell power with it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Speaking of that, you guys didn't even say it is. Is it in? Are warriors healers <laughs> if once you have again? To ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't I even know what the question was. Into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah what, um, what was the question? I'm asking: Are warriors going to be healers? Oh, she is the dealer? trinket there. Is the trinket there? Is the diamond flask in? I did like I, I haven't looked at any of these. I think it'll be in, but I don't think it'll be in as it, you're you're hoping it's in. It better than, no, be. I don't want it in. I it's, don't it's an, want it in. It's an like, iconic item. They've done things. Yeah, and iconic my ass. Like I could log into era right now, load my setup, and show you that I heal 2k damage. Every five seconds, yeah. like that's They're not, not okay. Have that go through. It's good. They'll they'll I hope it. not. But they'll like we thought somehow. they we thought they would change it in classic, and they didn't. Well, classic although that was, was the no changes, no changes era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So I, I, they're gonna change it. They're gonna make. They're gonna do diamond. They'll rework the quest for every class. I imagine they're gonna make the stuff more enticing to the classes. The 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 main specs from the gear they'll have something for diamond flask i would imagine but it's not going to work i just hope like it's not gear. healing i yeah. hope it's not healing like they'll warriors probably, like, never needed that heal. and yep. healers and everybody want to fucking kill warriors for like asking for their gear too so 
<laughs> yeah, we're getting cloth, leather, mail. Warriors didn't give a fuck. Go, <laughs> like, give, yeah, give it go. all. <laughs> Go next time we uh, hang out. I've still got all of my sh- my shit from classic. I'll show you, and you're gonna be like, "That's bullshit." Oh, I know, I know. Well, <laughs> you boys can yeah, go and hang out now with um. I, I obviously, yeah. I, I we said we had two hours. It's been what? A little over two. A little yeah, over two. Yeah, over. it's been good. Um, we we uh, met the quota. We'll do a we'll do a, another season of Discovery podcast on Wednesday. Go and um, Bob. It's an open invitation for you to come back. It'll be the day before launch. Uh, Hammer Dance is coming, so it'll it could be us, you, oh, and Hammer Dance. Hammer's so basic. Hammer's so, amazing. so it's Definitely an open invitation like if you want to come back. But I, de- I like I said, I'm radiant tonight, so I do need to cut this fairly short. Um, go. Uh, if you're interested in any balance druid stuff, I've been doing some data mining. I'm doing all this kind of stuff for Cataclysm, Seasonal Discovery. You can catch me on YouTube, youtube.com slash at classic go, C L A S S I C G H O. And sometimes on kick, same, same URL, at classic go. Yep. AKA Pooptus. Yeah. Pooptus on Battle.net, but we don't, we don't talk about Pooptus. That's my past. <laughs> And um, Bob, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at blazon underscore Bob. It's B-L-A-Z-Z-I-N underscore B-O-B. You can find me on Twitch at blazon Bob. No underscore. And you can find the podcast and any information you want at warcraftreloaded.com. And then Friday, tomorrow, we've got Cataclysm Druid Part 2. And then Saturday, I would imagine we also, we're starting on a new class. Scotty, Pilot, can you- Pilot him. Paladin on Paladin, Saturday. Yep. Paladin Saturday. Do you have a guest lined up? Can uh, you leak the guest? Because no, I haven't no, even heard. Uh, no, no. We, we can't leak the guest because I don't know who the fucking guest is yet, go. Okay, okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Well, I, I mean, I can, I can leak a guest. Ooh. Ooh, I know a Paladin I want. Yeah. Saturday, Warcraft Reloaded welcomes Classic Go. Episode Solheim. 200. Episode 200. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Episode 200. Classic Go, Solheim, and a bonus guest. If any of you ever listened to uh, any Overwatch podcasts, then you would have heard of Omnic Lab. And I play games from Omnic Lab. My good friend is coming on, too, to give us a little bit of uh, what we're lacking in podcasts right now is people that don't know the game. They ask really good questions. I've been trying to bring on people that are coming back recently. And there is so much that I forgot that we should just be mentioning because we like we forget that we know way too much about this game and are way too weird. It's good to have people that, you know, can be like, oh wait, what how did wait, how does that work? Yeah. Back to back a podcast on Saturday, Warcraft Reloaded. Mm-hmm into uh kata chat so it's gonna be a hype saturday really big hype really big hype right i'm going super, now super sod hype <laughs> super, super super big hype. Like, fuck off i yeah, got yeah. wrath raid I, I, I'm, I'm in the raid now i really need okay, to go bother, mate. <laughs> do, you, do you need is this the the monday run the, 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 thursday there is actually a spot to be fair but if, i don't if you, know if you want me in if you want me in i'll hop on no uh, i'll let you know once this is done Guys, thank you. We'll see you uh, uh, for, for next Wednesday, the day before Phase 3 launches, which is yeah, going to be massive amounts of hype. Like, I can't wait. Uh, I can barely contain myself hype. in my shorts. <laughs> so, <laughs> All the, the YouTube title words, yeah. Massive, yeah. insane, huge. Massive, insane, huge. Yeah, yeah. In honor of your shirt, Scotty, eat my shorts. <laughs> oh, eat my shorts. Right. Love you, Bob. Love you, go. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, er- er- yes. Everybody on kick, I'll be back in like 30 seconds. I just need to get rid of a light, get rid of the green screen. I'll be back. So if any of you want to see some hardcore ICC 25 heroic, 